But I have to say, like, the first conversation that we had is like well over an hour and people were all over that. Maybe the video that was commented on the most out of all of my videos. Wow. They effing loved it. So long form, whatever. And the watch time analytics were pretty way up there. Wow. People are watching all of it. That's great. So. I'm, I'm really happy for you, too. No, well, for me, dude, I'm saying people like your long form. They like your style. If you want to keep it to a half an hour, half an hour for your own purposes, good day. Um, go right the hell. Well, you know what? It is, it'll Hello. allow me to just really try to pick and choose. And I don't want to do that deliration, keep every first draft, and then fucking waste <laughs> All right, so all right. Go, you know what? Let me funnel all some right. of this shit because I have too much, and I don't want it to be world word salad, diarrhea. So. Yeah, that would be that. That'd be tough, I think. You know, so like I just today, I decided. You know. Um. I decided to uh, just start where, how do, the one question that you'll get asked if you were a Scientologist for longer than a week, by anyone who, uh, they'll eventually ask you when they're comfortable enough, they'll ask you, how did you get started? Right. And that's what I cover in this one I'm trying to upload now, so I'm not gonna go over it again. But, oh no, um, great, great. And, uh, but that's what they'll always ask you, Especially, you know, if they, if they think you're a halfway sharp guy, yeah. you know, they're like, you didn't know this was bullshit? And I said, well, think about what you did. Right. If I knew it was bullshit, yeah. would I have done it? No. <laughs> well, right. That's what a lot of people that study cults uh, say is like, nobody thinks they're joining a cult. Right? They think they're doing something good for their family, some new point of view, something, something. But this... Uh, this uh, cult researcher, I'm trying to remember what he was, what he was in. It was, he's like XJW or something. Uh -huh. But this guy, Steve Hassan, um, who, uh, he, li he lives in my home state of Massachusetts, uh, came up with this thing called the bite model, which is a way of evaluating whether or not, you know, what you are in is a cult. Oh, yeah? And he, yeah, ba he's connected to a lot of... A lot of different kinds of movements that are trying to do this work, like FLDS and JWs, and he's all over the place. Uh -huh. And I think um, the SPTV community would would do well to uh, connect with Steve Hassan because he's he's one of the researchers that's done a lot of this work. That's yeah, I would I would check him out. Check I out the bite the bite model. Okay. Yeah. I, I have a theory that I've held for a long time that I also just uploaded on this one, which is you stop the personality test and you stop Scientology. Huh. Oh, well, yeah, as it's the first line, the first feeder. It, it's, it's like I said, check mine out. And okay. See, I go into it in detail. But right on, right on. Line is, that's what I'm talking about, and it's the answer is real simple. It's without that ammo, they don't have a prayer. Right. It's basically like the cheat code for a uh, fortune teller. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. There, there's a lot of mental tricks that are at work that we never, that go right over our heads. Like like I said, am I a, am I a genius? Hell no. But am I a complete idiot? Not really, but the, the, <laughs> maybe. Nah. But, but the thing is, nah. <laughs> with, with, how can you say that? You, you, uh, no, I can. And I say it to other survivors too, and they're not. Uh, they're not. They're, I mean, the thing is, cults capture highly intelligent <laughs> people all the time. Oh Lord! I mean, I was—I felt a little bit like I got. When you're older, it, they have a different trap too. But anyway, all right, okay, cool. It's just the bottom line is you—it's <laughs> the cheat code. So you know, uh, like a fortune teller can—you only remember that he got your aunt, your sister, your mom, your uncle, and your best friend's name right. That's right. You don't realize those are, he made 46 names he dropped. Yeah, 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 and, and it is minutes. three. Right, exactly. Like nailed six, you're like, yeah, yeah. guys got me down the right. You know? Yeah, the basic cold reading. And, yeah. and even before that, I'm I'm getting a J name. A J, a J name. <laughs> Any Anybody with a J, a J, right. J like, <laughs> That's like Jeremy, Jason, <laughs> Jerome, something like that. I don't know. I love that. Literally. That, that's the, the, the one, uh, what do you call it, the uh, applause getter. 
Anybody here from Chicago? Like, if you're fucked, wow. at least that'll get you something. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hello, the town that I'm in today. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, my road manager wrote it on my hand. Because I'm out of... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, um, I'm into uh, looking at those techniques. They're used by so many people, but certainly a lot of the same techniques that mediums and you know, tarot card readers and all of these people use to analyze people's basic psychology and then use it against them, feed them what they want to hear. Um, it, it, like, all the cults, all confidence tricksters, somebody trying to sell you a car, somebody, like, it, it, it's all the same stuff. This, I mean, this is one of those tests that really shows you how much you can put someone through without violence. Oh, right. Okay. Because... Now I don't give you credit if you just keep choking somebody. I mean, they're going to tell you something. It might not be the truth. It might not be what you want. They're going to say something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's you, right. That's why you can't count on torture, right? Absolutely. I'll tell, I'll tell. <laughs> well, have you seen the marathon, man? You know, yeah, yeah. Dustin Hoffman. Yeah, Is it yeah. safe? No, it's totally not safe. <laughs> Is it safe? Yeah, it's completely safe. Whatever the heck. I don't know. You know, it, that's a really good scene of that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, they'll tell you anything. If you make it hurt enough, everybody breaks. But this place has figured out how to do that with everything shy of physical violence. Now, I really can't even say that, though, because that's only for the public. Yeah. You can't say that as a broad thing, we all know David was using uh, Render as a punching bag and, and uh, all the rest of them. And then the punching bag kind of line went down the chain, uh, course, seemingly, yeah. It happens anywhere. Go to any place where that's used from the top. Marines, etc. Uh, oh, yeah. Go to any any um, frat, frat house. Sure. You I mean, families, too. People cry for two months about what happens to them at, at an initiation, and they can't wait to put it out on someone else. Right, right, right. They yeah. Can't wait. Exactly. Okay? Um, you know, so it's just, it's, it, it, cause it, it's an infection to me. I have a different way of looking at it. I can't, I can't use scientological terms to not go, not get pissed. Right. right. I, I don't want to ever hear those things. Yes. So I use my own relatable terms that are different words. Like, Excellent. Like I think it's each time we do something that we know just don't seem right that adds up and then it adds it's little little cuts and it adds up and before you know it you know you, uh, you've seen Shawshank what they do with a fucking spoon or you know an ice cream spoon gives them 20 years yep <laughs> to dig to China yep so just what happens is over a nice little two three four years it always gets easier to do that yeah yeah always right and then you've suffered, so you're like, why don't you buck up? Right, yeah, sure. exactly. So it just keeps going. Yep. And you Hey, know, I went through it, why can't you go through it too? And then they'll tell you there's no excuses for your stats being down, you're out of it. Okay. And you should be able to do anything, and it's rat-a-tat-tat, right, with no issue. Well, why are you out of sickness? <laughs> Mr. Can Do Anything. Right, like, exactly. Why are you out of smokes? Uh, why, do you, why can't you afford fucking the, the deodorant? You know, why do you have two pair of slacks to get you through the year? Right. You know, polyester slacks. Jesus. You can't come up with 12 bucks, you can go get you another one from a fucking... Uh, I cannot wear polyester, I break out in a rash. So, yeah. You know, you know like when you, you take polyester and you wash it um, 7,500 times and it has that shine? Yeah. It's just crazy. Yeah. Like black becomes white. Right. Where the sun is. Yep. It's so trippy, and um, it's glassy. Yep. Those are the slacks you find over here. Yep. But yet, you have the sit. You actually have been applying this tech supposedly that I'm just learning. I still have an excuse. I've only learned this tech here in the last six minutes, right? I'm on my course. I'm I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're right. There so you go. At least you have an excuse for not doing this before. I didn't know. Right. Yes. You're the supervisor. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Why don't you already have this? Right. Right. And I learned as a kid how hard training was and why no one did it. <laughs> People, if you had any money at all that you wanted to waste or burn, I mean, 
you would just buy an intensive of oddity. And believe, just going through some of these memories, right, is just such a cathartic relief, like I did on my, uh, on my, uh, my live yesterday. I did a live from the, from the man. Yes. And uh, regarding losing my family. And it was brought to me because of Natalie talking about her Tony. Yeah. And what she's going through. It's and crazy. So I, I was trying to help her and anyone else going through that and share what I did. But just talking about it was the first time we've even talked about that. Right. Because your friends don't want to fuck you up. So what do they do? They go, hey, you know, you okay? And what am I going to say? No, no. I'm devastated, wrecked, I'm fucked. I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna give him the bullshit. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm getting better. Yeah, yeah. It's too bad. I, I have, I have, for my own survival, I just actually tell people now, and I'm trying to get people used to actually hearing the honest answer. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's safe. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I just, uh, for, for everybody's sake, I think we should just get used to actually sharing what's actually going on because the, the alternative is us going privately crazy and suffering in silence. And I'd rather model a way to, to not do that. I so, like that. Yeah. That's super cool. I like that. But, you know, like I was saying about how it's just so incremental. Yeah. You know, you don't just wake up completely fucked. It takes you some time, you know? And you always think you're in control. Because don't forget, everything they know the buttons to push from the second you walk in here. Right. Okay, they got that shit down. They've been doing it for 70 years or whatever. They know how to do this. So what right. they do is they'll say, um, just the, the buzzwords you know, that you want to hear. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, right. They got you by the balls. Because let's say you, you, you don't want to you don't want to devote all the time they start asking you to. Okay. Well, do you really want help or do you want to get be in the same place uh. you were a little while ago? They always got you, right? Just a half turn away. Always got you. Well, I'm painting you as like irresponsible for not, yes. yeah. We can't force you to drink. <laughs> you know, all I can do is show you where it is. You know. That's right. And, yeah. And, uh, but like, the other thing is, and I never really cared about this, but I always saw it, though, which was <sighs> most Scientologists have shit cars. Yeah. And it makes perfect sense because they'd steal every dollar from you. Right, right. Yeah. But I'm talking, I, mean, I know people who put down hundreds of, th I mean, they had money. Yes. But they're driving a shit box from, eight, you know, 89 or whatever, you know. Yeah. 20 years ago or whatever. Just, you know, it's messed and who cares. Yeah. I, I get that. Yep. That's cool. Yep. And I actually agree, but it's, I want it to be your choice. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, if you want to ride the bus, great. Sure. I want it to be your choice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and and like you start you stop doing stuff that everyone else does in other words but everyone around you is already there so it never seems weird it's so fucking perfect and it's and it's mastery of, of evil because everyone else is in the same spot as you like you stop taking vacations psychologists do not take vacations yeah that does not happen right because first of all you just wasted that money right we needed you to clear somebody, you know. Right. I guess you don't give a shit. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll take up your slack, you know, to take a nap. You know, it's take, just take a nap. Little baby bullshit, oh, make wrong. Man. Oh, it's so bad. Um, <laughs> but everyone else is already not taking vacations. So you're like, okay, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, so monkey see, monkey do everything though. Everything you end up doing, everyone's already doing before you. So you're like, and I guess they're winning because, you know, the one guy with the trust fund that won't end. Yes. They'll keep pointing to. Right, right. He paid for OT. Yeah, but he hasn't even finished the communication course for $30. What? But he's paid for all the rest of Like, people pay for training and never do it. Right, right. Because if you're rich, guess what gets them off your ass? Money. Just buy everything. Yeah, you just buy everything. And yeah, then yeah. you can do what the fuck you want. Yeah, yeah. Now, you're still going to get rich all day from all the bogus outfits they run. You know, CCHR, all that nonsense. They're all gonna hit you, but but the church won't, because you already bought it. Yeah. That's why they gotta say, hey, you gotta buy it again, man. Right. We got we added three semicolons. Yeah, they sure did. You know. <laughs> just, just last Tuesday. Right. 
Uh, and, oh, and then he has this other thing. I mean, think about how this this also had me cracking up about that Hellraiser <laughs> birthday. Uh, uh, Miscavige was saying, he goes, and we like, and we, we somehow finally, finally, like on every last note, and, and uh, you know, uh, whatever he wrote on a Brillo pad and every post-it and, <laughs> and the back of his fucking typewriter and, and chicken scratch on the, on under its vans. And we chronologically put it all together because they would try to spell it if he was throwing up. Oh, right. You see? Because he couldn't have just thrown up from being a drug addict. No. He had to throw up because... Uh, some alien or something, you know, he's fighting Xenu and that's killers. right. He's on some other universe and here at the same time, yeah, and enjoying a second dimension, whatever. So that's why I said it's like Kim Young Jewel or whatever. Fuck it. It's the same thing, it's, it's nothing that he did could be wrong, yes. But that's also so stupid. It was easy for the short game, yes, it's good for the short game, right? The long game, it's horrible. Well, like by about 1960, maybe he should have changed tack. You know, two years into Scientology, he was all already sowing the seeds of its destruction. Seemingly. Well, he had a ton of dough. And oh, sure. And more all the fun. time. Yeah, I mean. But, but the writing started to kind of appear on the wall, at least in England. I mean, why, why else did he need to go on the boat? A, a big reason why you can hang in during all this madness, though, is because of the pride. Again, you're talking about a lot of good people who are just dizzy from this. But they, the like the, the supervisors could hang in there because it had all these graduates every week. Right. And they're just rushing up the bridge, and they feel like I'm fucking helping. Oh I'm, wow! I'm really kicking ass. Yep. We are taking names here, man. Let's go. And I get that. It's a thrilling, wonderful thing to feel. <laughs> but if there's no one in your place. And there's me and you and anyone else writing, you know, suck my balls in the front of it. <laughs> and I gotta get in the van in order to go to Oh, a yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty pathetic, oh, right? Oh, dude. Did anything I study, was any of it worth anything? Because you got me hyped. Why don't yep. you put me in a potato sack with a fucking, you know, a mask on and I'll just hop over to the other building? Pretty much. <laughs> I might be. <laughs> yeah. That's confront. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> confront shatter. <laughs> and shatter suppression. Almost, LRH, give me my drink back. Damn it, that's, almost lost it. Front. Yeah, not at all. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Where, where's, where's the ding darn communication? So yeah, I had a run in with a 17 year old kid who was coming out of the blue building with a bunch of food. Said his sister was in the Sea Org, and uh, said that you know I asked him about his gains, and he said that I guess he had taken the communication course and. So you know, he learned how to speak confidently and not say um or er or and and that he was he was able to he was able to uh, continue his thought process while somebody was trying to speak over him and so I spoke over him and I made him say um and er uh, and, and I was just not feeling it a, a little bit I, I mean. Uh, we, we got into it a little bit about psychology and psychiatry. I told them that I just graduated from a, a you know, psychology undergraduate. Um, and uh, he said, no wonder you seem crazy. You know, and, and went into the whole psychist thing. I said, psychology, and he's like, but what's the, uh, psychi the, the other one? Oh, you know, God. psychiatry, right? Um, but doesn't everybody get put on drugs? I'm like, not all the time. I mean, drugs are a tool. I didn't say that, right, but right. but they are. It cuts both ways. And the effic if you look at the efficacy studies, yeah, there are definitely risks with very many of them. And maybe there's some overprescription. Uh, I, I might I might tend to agree with that. LRH but, wrote a letter asking for psychiatric help. Correct. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and. He also um, wanted them to be good pals, right? Sure. And when they read Dynetics and peed themselves like you and your Yeah, absolutely. Old, yeah, you bet. That then he got butthurt. Got yeah, belief, correct. Made that his sole purpose in life, outside of making sure he got my money or anyone else, was, was fucking them up. You bet. how dare you shit all over me. Um, well, you know, they're actually the, the 
you know, the people that are running the field and you've read some self-help books, LRH. I, <laughs> like, <laughs> seemingly. A whole lot of stuff. Plus, people don't know, there's like six, seven people that wrote tons of shit, supposedly. I mean, you heard in the grapevine. Like, oh. Like, oh. It wasn't well. You no, know like, no, it didn't seem just, well. You don't, just, you don't just all of a sudden one day have like, you know, four inch fingernails or whatever, you know, and a beer like ZZ Top. And he, 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 he was... The, the, there's a picture of all these pills too like he was probably taking maybe six seven eight different things is what it yeah. looked like in this picture right right and I've known people who you know were heavy drug abusers yep and no matter what they, they would they would figure out like a pharmacist how to keep going yeah exactly I mean, it, 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 everybody like, yeah okay now I, I uh, now I gotta have uh, the heroin I gotta have three Budweiser's and then I gotta and then have a pot, some pot and I go to sleep yep and so he had to be doing that too. But guess what? A lot of times, you nod off. Yep. It's hard to do what he was doing and not nod off. You bet. Right? So and he ain't get nothing done. Now, when he was lucid, he came up with absolute piles of um, hot garbage like Battlefield Earth. Right. Right. Maybe speed. Ooh. Maybe a whole lot of speed. Because uh, a lot of writers, and especially writers that are on a deadline or are paid by the word, you know, a lot of stimulants. <laughs> Coffee, cigarettes, like overflowing oh, for yeah. ashtrays next oh, to the yeah. typewriter, and and speed. Every time you pull one out, it makes five others ignite. Yeah, <laughs> I mean they're cools, right? Yeah. So those things are pretty flammable. Oh, I mean uh, I've smoked a cool. That that is a harsh menthol cigarette. He he was smoking like a, 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 what enough asbestos for a, a fucking. Uh, nice townhome every week. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. It's well, he's well insulated. <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh, that was worth the trip here. Oh, that was fantastic. I'm, I'm he was well insulated. <laughs> happy to serve. <laughs> yeah, self goes out in the blaze. All right. Cut, cut, print that shit. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, anyway, he, he, there had to be people helping him. Oh, because, sure. Because he wasn't getting a lot done, and there was a lot that needed to be done. Yep. Okay, and so, uh, again, to help things right now, the way he finished it, or with other people's help, finished it, got through to OTA, it works. But now there's no body things. You got to come up with, what, what's the next one? Right. From under ghosts? I mean, what, what, what? I mean, okay, so I, I was thinking, I mean, so they're done with these semicolons. Why, has, why hasn't somebody arranged uh, uh, um, David Miscavige to somehow be able to, he's found this method by which he can uh, become in contact and have like seances with LRH at Target 2 and receive <laughs> the corrected upper OT levels <laughs> that have been promised since the mid 80s, right? Yeah. And then they could make a mint. They would, like whoever was left in would believe it, right? I mean, they, he would have to like, but I mean, it would be desperate and he would have to represent himself as really magical. I agree, but here's the problem. The people who work here can't even think that way. Oh. They can't even think about it, literally, because then they're going to come up with the wrong answer, yes. the right answer, which is the wrong answer if you're working here. Right. Because, in other words, how you know it's bullshit is because he set a target that is totally unreachable in the heyday. Right. Oh, right. Of okay. course. Yeah, right at the totally beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So... It's sort of like how, and and uh, like I'm, I'm a big MMA fan, right? And Killer. A lot of times, like there's there's many different ways to turn down a fight. Yep. I could say I could right now say you know Mike Tyson's a punk and you know, he don't want a part of me. Right, right. Uh, and then he'll be like, what are you, what, what? what? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But it's because I asked for seven hundred million dollars. Correct. Which no one seems willing to give me. Nope. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so. But he's a puss. That's right. For you won't. China. Yeah, you won't fight me for like all the <laughs> right. tea in China. Right. Yeah. So it's the same thing. You make a target that you know you can't reach. Right, it's right. The same thing as saying there ain't no 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Correct. And who do you know who likes money more, more than these guys? Okay. And guess what? Nope. Every OT8, I would say their shelf life, if, they're, if, if they don't jump off a building, 
and I, I don't I know that's a horrible thing to say because it's true too, yeah it they actually think, happens they right yeah um, you, you couldn't possibly have more than three to six months in my estimation but before you'd be willing to and still be willing to listen to anybody in this building? Yes. Or at, at Flag or the boat, or I mean, they put you on that cattle car, nasty ass boat. Ugh. And, and, uh, which has tons of asbestos, more asbestos in the paint. Whoa. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I, how long could, how, how much time could go by before you're, you're no longer willing to, you're like, I'm still trip. I tripped on the porch today. You yep, know. Yep. Yep. Uh, I got served. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. I got these problems. Those Cut problems. myself shaving. Cut yeah. myself shaving. You know, my wife left me. What the fuck? Right. Yeah. I thought I was all powerful. What? A, but you. There's no one around to, to keep you dizzy. Right. Once you're solo, sitting in your pad. That's Jason Begay. I think his name is the guy from Chicago Fire that talks about. Oh, that. okay. All right. When I'll look that up, Jason Begay. Okay. the best. Okay. I couldn't come close. This dude is the best. Yeah, that'll be some good driving material. Oh, it's so good. It, yeah. You're, you're going to, I swear, if you watch it once, you'll, you'll do it twice. It's that good. Oh, wonderful. It's that good. And uh, he goes into it so well because he had money. So they started kissing his ass. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, absolutely. And he was one of the very few celebrities who actually just said, hey, I don't fuck around. You know, don't fuck around, buy around. Right. Let's go. Right. And he, and he just went right up the bridge. Yeah, okay. okay. He actually worked the program. Yes. All right. He did everything. But nothing was working. And so the, the scam that holds this together, right, has always been any gains that occur are due to LRH's wonderful technology. Yes. If you fail to gain those exact gains, if you don't reach this exact end phenomenon, because you are out ethics. Yes. To that degree, the tech won't go in. That's how they. That's how they put it. Right. Right. So it's they, they, it's impossible to get busted. Yeah, it's you're impossible. Hard times because you're a douchebag. But Correct. Guess what? They're happy to say that to me. Yes. Okay. They'll 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 throw an Adidas in my head and don't think twice. But guess what? The gay. He's got money. Yes. <laughs> so you can't treat him like you treat me. And guess no, what? Heck he, no. He fucking slapped him. Bah, 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 like a fucking three stooges. Everyone over there at Clearwater, the he the heads of the head, the the senior CS International. It don't get bigger than that. No. All of them. Pow, pow, pow. He goes. If it didn't work, it's because it's uh, it was squirreled. There's another way it could. Yeah, work. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Because supposedly, if you deliver technology, if you deliver this technology exactly as you're supposed to. Right. It will work. Yes. 100% of the time. Right. You can't say he's out. I think he's been living in your stupid hotel for two months. Right, right. On course, 12 hours a day. No, it ain't him. No. And he's like, look, so you guys aren't delivering standard tech. Otherwise, I'd get the wins. Right, 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 right. So, so, so you can't seem to deliver real Scientology to me. So give me my fucking money back. Damn. Damn. But no. you know what? He didn't even take his money back. You know why? Because they want him to sign that thing saying... Yeah, yeah, NDA. Yeah, you yeah. love us and we'll still be yeah. Valentine's, you know, after you're declared. Right. <laughs> and his wife got her money back. She didn't give a shit. Man. Yeah, like... Um, but he won't sign that. He won't sign that fucking thing. Well, you, you shouldn't have to sign that to get your money back, right? You shouldn't have to. They, I mean, somebody needs to bring suit for damages and prove, like, kind of through through discovery be able to prove that the money given over and whatever it was that was promised was never actually intended to be given in the first place and uh so you could say like breach of a verbal contract you could you know, say a whole bunch of things but if you can if you can prove damages on any of those bases and make a record then maybe a bunch of other people could pry a lot of money off of them yeah that would be wonderful but um I think there's another part that we don't even see, which can, and I could see this, especially if you're rich. It's it's worth that. It's worth two million dollars just to get rid of these phones. Yes. His phone ring yeah, yeah. Right. 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 For that, for him, absolutely, it's worth two million dollars yeah. to just walk away clean. And so that's, I guess, that's usually what what they're counting on, is that you just want us to go away, don't you? Don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. It's. 
What was that movie, The Bronx Tale? Where, oh, yeah. You know, he says, what are you running for? He owes me 20 bucks for dodging me for six weeks. You got rid of him for 20 Yeah, miles. right, yeah. He's going to run the other way from now on. That's right. The best 20 bucks you ever spent. Absolutely. And he might really look at it the same way. Indeed. You know? Yeah. If you make a, a million an episode eight, what are you going to do? Hey, exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> Two weeks work. I'll never talk these pieces of shit again. That's all right. <laughs> Could definitely do that. Uh... But he had such a perfect point. If you're not, if you're delivering standard tech, and my ethics are in, right? I have to get these gains. Yes. So says LRH. Correct. Nothing left to talk about now. So the only thing that could be occurring is you're not delivering standard tech. Right. And, and since you were the highest of the high, let me know when you get someone who ain't an idiot, and I'll come back. So even if it's if if it's not if you're referring to non-standard tech being de de delivered within Scientology, mm -hmm. that could also be considered squirreled. Because I thought uh, yeah. generally that was people that are outside, but even non-standard tech delivered. If you screw up the delivery of technology within Scientology, you could say that. Well, it's it's it more. Was, it would be squirreled. I guess the, the way I always looked at like squirrel in the tech would be that add something or take something off. Ah. Uh, so like instead of saying do birds fly, you could say, you know, do birds fly far? Like that would be uh, I see, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Even though that's like so unimportant. Right. You have to understand here every last look at that. Look at that. Get the hand in there. Is that a hand in the window? Oh wow. Are they asking for help? Was there a white flag? I didn't see the it. Sheet comes down and they start falling. Yeah exactly. <laughs> you wouldn't see nothing. <laughs> yeah, it, wow. I mean, is, is there like that's an international creepy. finger symbol for help or something? Um, Flip I'm us not, off if you want help. Yeah, is it, exactly. Any indication. <laughs> if you need help, call the SPTV Foundation at 727-266-5797. They will assist you in your in your path outside of this cult. They'll try to help you in any way they can, try to get you a GED, try to get you a job. Call today, 727-266-5797. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It is. It doesn't seem to be. I'm gonna get a water from my car. Good deal. No, I didn't know that. No. Right. I just. You just. Very good. Right. They're trying to offer you help. They're trying to offer you things to, to do the courses. Like, are they trying to? No. All right. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's generally just a money thing. You're right. That's that's generally what they want. A little bit of power, maybe a big building like this, you know. Those but are different types of people that would do it. sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Okay, man. Maybe I'll see you again. Yeah, I, I, this is my last day in L.A., but... Um, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I, I'll probably come back at some point, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm heading back east. I am going to have it. All right. Amazing. They couldn't even believe it. You couldn't... Basically, this would raise the people to heaven and help you with doing things that people didn't even understand what they was until they started. Right. And... and
right? So one second. At, at uh, escaping Falcon's maze, um, definitely it was hard to hear what it was that they were saying. I was trying to get the mic as close as possible. Lots of street noise, but um, also I can download the video, take it into a digital audio workstation, compress the heck out of it, bring their audio up as much as possible, and get their name and badge number. That's what I did for about 14 cops in Chicago. So Streets also said he could identify them by face. So don't worry about it. I do it. <laughs> Wicked. I'm bad. Jesus, All kinds of people come up with and, and, uh, But I definitely know about the serial numbers now. I got serial numbers for four of the cops yesterday that showed up here at the Blue Building. Have a card. Do you like, at the same time? No, I know you're not criticizing. It's fine. Don't worry about it. No, no, it's a, it's a very good tip. I was glad to hear it. Glad to hear it from anybody. Um, certainly. But uh, tried to rectify it, and uh, on it, and uh, uh, know the protocol, hopefully. I, I already know it for a long time. Ago. Uh, I couldn't, I, I'm not going to do something that's not right. Oh, that's good. Have a good day. We'll do you too. All righty then. Yeah, good idea, right? I mean, you know, I'm not used to this sun at this time of year being a New Englander. It's like it's still a lot of overcast. Maybe this, this month would be like a lot of rain. Like just a lot. Yeah, I'm loving it. It's beautiful. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a base, but it's all farmers. It's all <laughs> farmers, great. Dan. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm so pasty though. <laughs> you know, German and Irish, you know, don't tan very well. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is, this, this is like I say. I'm feeling this for me, and I'm just absolutely um, stupefied that there's anyone willing to follow. I mean, like I said, I was totally okay. I figured to be like six weirdos that would just hang on there. They'd probably be really cool weirdos, you know, that right. would follow, and that'd be about it. And, which was it's, fine. Like I said, I want it to be out there, so the day someone wants to look at it, long after I'm done doing this shit, people to look at it. That was the idea. But as you see, that is completely not the case. Yes. You are, you, you are uh, definitely needed all of these perspectives and I very much hope you can be an example to other people that are in or suffering outside under the radar and get them out from uh, the shadows um, and give them, give them some confidence. Also, it seems like, um, I don't know, you were talking about doing rundowns on like a lot of the, uh, the, the TRs though. Yeah, I'm gonna go through all the courses each day i'll just probably just rock a course i did you know ah, that'd be awesome um, to make a map for because there's so many protesters that don't know that depth of it it would be invaluable for all of us to have it done that way it would be a, it, it would be good yeah it would be good because you can still it, what it'll do especially when it's all laid out is you'll see just how smooth this is right you know hey doggy do Oh, wow. <laughs> They're gorgeous. Um, um, there, as much as I can't stand it and all that stuff, the thing that's hardest for me to say is that some of the stuff is fucking genius, you know, as far as if you're evil. Oh, you as were, a trap? If you were an evil piece yes. of shit, I could see yeah. you saying, man, this is pretty good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would be really impressed. Like, I'm, I'm a super evil dude, and I was just spending 20 years trying to make shit... So, and, I, I found this and be like, wow. Because yeah. you don't even have to beat the shit out of them and they cower. Right, exactly. Which is almost unheard of. Oh, yeah. You normally have to take a couple of shots, you know, but the public never takes a shot, only the staff. Or take somebody down as an example to the rest of you. But the public always has the excuse because if you have money, it doesn't do them any good to, to give you the food. No. Like, like, it's okay to smash on... Uh, a steward member because you know we always need someone to do dishes right jeez oh, doesn't matter how qualified yeah yeah, yeah 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 and um like I said that's another thing that's normally done like you could be at the highest on everything and you, you'll get treated like absolute garbage at times which just doesn't happen anywhere but here right um but that you're used to it but the public you get, you get a little bit of a break because you're paying. Yes. There's 
no big deal sending someone as a to get paid for ethics. Like, uh, I remember um, Leah talking about, um, she was, because uh, you got to go to flag every every six months to get sec checked oh, on OT7. Good Lord. Take a break or whatever. Um, people are on that for years. Yeah. Um, so you got to go to flag, and she's when she got in trouble, remember at the Tom Cruise wedding? Oh, right. For asking where she Yeah, yeah, is. yeah, absolutely. She don't have the rank to ask yep, that nope, rank. nope. No, that's a great story. Well, guess what? She had to go do tons of sex checks and stuff, you know. But she can afford it. Yep. How much can you sex check me at 300 an hour before I go, fuck you, right? Uh, only so much. 15 minutes. Yeah. I wonder I wonder if they have like if they have a graph like intersecting lines of like level of amount of money that we know that they have and how much we can take from them. I think there And there's got to be some kind of uncanny valley there that you don't want to get into. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. If if you're a uh, And then of course the people who donate the most are above any reproach. Right. right. So um you know, the people who are given 4 or 5 million a year 10 years of course you're not gonna you let them do whatever yes you would justify anything right let alone protect them and don't forget masters is family right? absolutely and they have a lot of pull here right they're a whole family of Scientologists right uh, so uh, I promise you if they declared it which I don't think they ever really did I think they sort of made it sound like we did but it's not been really done yeah, because I think that's the impression he most of us have. Be able to come visit. Correct, correct. Yeah, that's the impression think I think everybody has. Given who knows how many tens of millions? Right. Going to allow that? In no way. Hell. No. So, so if we can see, I don't know who wants to do this kind of work, but it's all public info. You can see who visits who, from what I've been told. Yep. At these prisons. Yep. So you know, if any of his family is visiting him, he ain't declared. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, thanks, Kimberly, for putting up uh, uh, for uh, putting up Eric's page. Definitely keep doing that. We definitely want as many people to see this as possible. Also, uh, um, today and for whatever day going forward, um, KK's GoFundMe uh, Memorial Fund as well as much as possible. But definitely, let's get let's get Eric uh, as many subscribers as possible. Thank you. Yeah, no probs. No, my mods are kicking butt. I love <laughs> it. I love it. I had I had um, fifteen people watching my uh, live stream, and I was impressed. Like the fifteen people I actually took the time out live. To hear it's me. just the beginning. Just the beginning. <laughs> you know what? I mean, especially you're in LA, you're gonna get way more. I'm I'm really excited for you to have like uh, your first interview on one of the bigger channels Am in, in SBTV. Because you know what I wanted to do? I didn't want to just call and go whatever like who the hell is this guy, right? So I figured since I'm doing this and once I decided I'm gonna do this, I thought, why don't they go ahead and this way they can see? I mean, Natalie put me up again. Yep. So I think yep. on two of those. I only got three things. So that's going to be quick growth for you. Um, but I mean an interview. But I wanted people to be able to at least, who, wouldn't you want to see what I'm about or how I am or whatever before you do that? Because I don't want to. No, that's right. You know, this way you can see, like, I, I know for as an example, I know Aaron made it clear. He doesn't want to talk about the render stuff because the, the, his, his, his subscribers go down. They don't want to hear it. Okay, I don't have that problem, right? Yeah, that's I fine. Got six subscribers, so it doesn't matter to me. But at the same time, I'm here to say my truth, not, not the truth, my truth. Yes. Right. Correct. And and whoever wants to hear it can. And if not, I totally get it. All good. Um, I think there are plenty of other channels that will hear the render stuff. Well, no. What I was going to say is, I'd be happy to go on his and not talk about it. Oh yeah, I don't have of to course. Talk about it ever. I don't care if I ever talk about it again, because I I put my thoughts down. You did. It's over. You did. I'm done. And I just wanted to get that out of the way because it was really irritating. And yeah. it's been like up front in the in the news of of this whole movement. Totally. For three months. Yes. 
and I just wanted no one said what I said that I listened to because I'm I'm just more aggressive and, and, and probably more fucked up. So I just came with it the way I see it. Yeah. And I totally understand anyone who doesn't agree, totally cool. Yeah. Just my opinion. And, and, uh, and how my mind works, where I only give you one shot. Maybe it's also because I'm self-protective. Like, okay. I only give you one shot to fuck me up. All right. Yeah, yeah, okay. When I was 20, I'd give you three or four. Probably. Right, right. <laughs> you know, yeah. I got one. Right. You know, so, Agreed. Um, you know, uh, maybe that's it. But, but like I said, the long, well, the long and the short of it is... Without real help, or with real help, none of what we see would have happened. Enough time or real help or whatever it is. But I think it was a bad idea from the get-go. He barnstormed it. He flexed. All those things are all qualities that he had that were not good. Right. And they're still there. And the way he operates, it's still there. So, And it, and it just reeked. I'm sorry, Tal. It was dripping in Scientology. Yes. His first response to the last. Dripping. And the fact, like I said, I don't know nothing about the Headleys, but the fact that they're listening to that makes me sad because they must agree. So, yep. There's another foundation. I didn't think it was a big deal to say until they've proven they can get their shit together. Yes. Do what they really should do. Get rid of render get rid of that lady with a ridiculous letter yes making us look like shitheads trying to make us look bad yes but we have a foundation give 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 right. give, give give but i want it to go to one that's not going to uh hang carrots and do shit and look after themselves or care who gets credit or all this stupid shit yep there's one game and aaron laid it out perfectly you know Give me money. We will find a way to get it out quickly yes. to people who desperately need it yes. to escape. Right. How simple is that? And, and you know That's what? what I it had is. Total faith because it was all working great. It I was. Had no problem. Uh, I, I would have told everyone to give to, to aftermath. I would have no problem. With right. But I can't. Same. To me, I'd be lying if I even said it was. There was any chance I would tell someone to give to them because I would. I would actually say, you know what? If you want my opinion, you know, no, give it to SPTV. Right. That's it. I yep. wouldn't have to say another word. Pretty much. Ask, great, I'll tell you. Yeah, you know? exactly. But if you're asking, I'm telling you. And now what's the difference between that and Yelp, you know? I'm None. I'm giving my... <laughs> None. <laughs> I'm telling you, SPTV Foundation, give all day there. Take it from me. There's no reek of Scientology coming from that. Nope. Nope. I don't detect any little hint Not of it. And, and you know what? You're as, you're as good as the people you hang around. And, uh... Well, with, an, like, a, 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 a foundation or a non-profit organization yeah. like that, absolutely. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if you got a board full of felons, you know, and I'm the only good guy, hey, I don't blame you, you know? Yep. I have to think about this. Right. Um... You know, and and and, uh, but I already know. Like, if Rinder caught wind to anything that I said, hmm. he would want desperately, as a Scientologist, still in hiding. <laughs> he would, you know. But again, it would address nothing that I said. Correct. Because nothing I said can be fucked with. Yep. It is concrete, done. Yep. He did it. I didn't make it up. Nope. It was okay. Da 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 da. da. So. That being the case, he would not address any of that. He would say, first off, I didn't just do some good things. I've done, and he'd rattle off 23 minutes worth of shit. Oh, uh, yep. And then, you already know, it would be besmirch, deflect. The little. Deflect. And and then a little a little uh, extra snotty know-it-allness at the end. Yep. And Yes. Um, and we took care of that one. <laughs> yes. A fetid sousant of shit. <laughs> and then, of course, everyone who watched it is, is, is like, what did I just see? Yes. 
And the fact that the heavies or no one else is grabbing them and bringing them back means they can't see it. Not that they're bad people, means they can't see it, which means to me, <laughs> they're also thinking Scientology. Because like I said, it, 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 I, I jumped up like a dog that was sleeping, you know, that you, when I when I when I heard his first response, I'm just like, this is right. You would never say, and you would never belittle the victim. None of this. But don't forget, Scientology is a victimless place. Right, right. They can't have a victim. You right. You deserve yeah. what you got. Yes. What did you do to don't pull it in? That. Pull it in. Okay? Yeah. So even and now think about how this makes absolutely no sense, but it's the mantra, right? Which is, how are you supposed to protect yourself from the seventeen traps I lay out for you? When you don't even know they're coming and you don't deserve any of them. Uh, yeah, you okay. don't. So to You're going to get your leg broke. Barrel, right. Ridiculous totally. One. It's overkill, like ridiculous. But, you know, I'm supposed to, I trust you now? Like, like what changed it? Except you got treated badly. Yep. And that's all I said. So... And I did say I would have supported him if he came out before any of that bad shit happened to him. Right. Um, huh. I don't even know how I would have. I probably, I take that back. I, I revised that statement only because, again, he, I couldn't imagine doing any of these things to people. Right. I just can't imagine. Let alone a laundry list of it and keep doing it. Right. You can couldn't live with yourself. And, and, but yet you're getting pats on the backs and high fives and whatever. And, uh, that takes a very special kind of person and that's not a good person. Now, I don't mean you can't, I, I don't believe people can't change. I believe people change whether they want to or not. Right. So maybe he just was in a bad swing there, you know, and sure, sure. he's back out and you could get a lot better not being in there. I get it. Like I said, yeah. he might still be a great guy, but he's thinking like a Scientologist. Or, but really the that. deeds though, it, it's like judge people on their deeds. If you're doing evil, what does that make you? Is, is the question that I ask some Scientologists. <laughs> You know, these evils, these crimes that I'm listing, if you're involved in them, if you're doing evil, what does that make you? If you're supporting, if you're protecting other people that do evil deeds, what does that make you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh... Yeah, I don't mind going hard on Mike Rinder. Uh, I don't I don't care who knows about it. And I'll say it over and over again because I see him as like mercury in the water supply if, if nothing else, let's say we're all wrong. Let's say 99% are wrong and he's right. Yeah, all right Let's just pretend cool cool okay? Even if that's the case you should you should be able to see this and go man I got to get out. Yep, and I'm taking this this broad with me because she's nuts If you didn't know about the letter and if you did then you're you're be I don't even know how to help you I mean, you're you know, if you knew about that letter she wrote and you okayed it it's yeah. over. It's over. Oh, there's no way that didn't get board approval before it was released. There's no way that these new board members didn't coordinate with the entire board in a strategic way to release those at a particular time for a particular effect. I would think so. You know they're very controlled. You notice how they didn't take, you know, they didn't come right back when Render first let everything be known because they thought he wouldn't cross a certain line and they could control him. And then when he crossed that line and let stuff be known, right. they, they lost all power. Just doing that publicly, like none of the stuff that was public ever had to be public. No. And it never affected, the most important thing Aaron said that kept bringing in my head was it never had anything to do with the foundation. No, not really. <laughs> no. I mean, I get it. Like you saw me, I stole some money from the credit. Okay, get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay? Yeah. Um, I've seen it happen. I, I, I've seen it happen right over, like, at, at a, I worked at a nonprofit and the president was taking from the t till. Yeah. We we're doing, like, national programs, doing, like, disaster relief in the Congo and all sorts of stuff. And they were taken from it. And as soon as anybody found out about it, they're like, well, we won't be able to raise any money next week if we don't get rid of this person right now. And they were gone. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's all. But, but this, this... I have 75 reasons, but the one, there's one that's probably, to me, the worst. And that's why I say, it's my truth. I help somebody when they desperately need it. And I'm the one who shows up. 
I save their ass. Teach them how to do this thing that I do. Yeah. So they can pay the bills. Right. And take responsibility for them. <laughs> and then you <laughs> manage to boot me off of something you know I care desperately about. Right. By hoping that that blackmail would have worked. And that Aaron didn't have the balls to go where he did. Yep. So you failed that one. But look how far that went. That totally. was already crazy. Yep. Crazy. But you screw over a guy who was the only guy to show up to help you. Bad mouth, besmirch, all that, like I said. And then do it me or him. Yep. You come with the grade school bullshit. Right. Oh, but I'll just leave. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I'll just go. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, by this date, like, and, and, but, and then I guess it's mixed. I got that, and then I got it mixed in with the um, how how he actually cared. He goes, well, yeah, Aaron and what's his name, Lewis or whatever I forget his name, uh, started it. But I sort of started it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And I yeah. said, well, wait a second. No, you actually didn't at all. At all. And his reasoning was because when you say aftermath, people think of me. Oh my God. Yeah. The narcissism. Brutal. The extreme arrogance is it, 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 it is yeah meter. seriously yeah. Oh, break any narcissist meter. Uh, That's so over the top. It's incredible that he can't see that as well. Just shows how how deeply damaged this person is. But I could understand wanting credit for Windows ninety five. Okay? Right. You're talking about. I, they're thinking of oh, me right. when they give that money. Not you. <laughs> are you okay? No. Or are you seriously, savagely deranged? Yep. Because how could that matter to you? Because everything reputationally uh, matters to this person, you know, as it, that, that they're getting all of the credit. Well, I mean, it's still, like you're saying, Scientology all over the guy. It's got to be me and not you. I'm definitely over you. Don't you remember where I was and don't remember where I was in Scientology, but don't you remember <laughs> where I was, what I've seen, what I did, what I'm still doing? Yeah. Yeah. It's awful. And, and for no one else to get it means they're thinking the same way. In oh, yeah, opinion, yeah, 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 yeah. And if I'm yeah. wrong, I apologize. Certainly. That's what it looks like to me. Sure, okay? sure. And walk, talk, act, it's a duck. Yep. So, um, and like oh, I said, yeah. now one time I've watched Aaron for a year and a half or something, I don't know. Right, and, yeah, yeah, and about the same, the, about a year. All the ancillary stuff now for three months and... Um, not one time has my Scientology spider sense gone off. Right. With a thousand hours of all you guys. And believe me, I could sniff that shit out. I think you could. Okay. I think you could. And, and uh, you know, I know how tough it is. I'm not blaming Rinder for that. Like I said, mm, this no. Is, this, I, I admit this. And think about how crazy this is. I know I didn't get any gains, but. It took me years to get rid of the knee-jerk, instantaneous, massive gains on everything. Even though I got no one to share that with or talk to about it. Because I'm just, it's just, it's just ingrained in you. Yep. It's well, just, I mean, you have, you've, you've formed pathways in your brain. The, like, at literal, physical, neuronal connections and networks of associations around these ideas and it takes time not using them for those to go away <laughs> yeah yeah it does and so i understand if you get as high up on the thing as him i'm just some asshole whose family was ruined by this i'm not i'm not a unique story there's a jillion people like me. his story is unique because he had all that power and again he was being applauded you know, when you get if you get anywhere near where he was, I don't think people realize the respect you're given. You know? Oh yeah. They go outside and talk to people who aren't Scientologists and they'll act humble and all that. But you know, you better have your shoes better be polished, you better be at attention, everything better be perfect. No, like George Patton yeah. coming onto the field. Seriously. That's that's my impression. That's exactly right. So um 
for those people, uh, you know, this has to be, you can't, uh, so many thoughts in my head because I keep seeing that guy's hand. Is he really trying to escape or is that just a, or is that just something else here that I can't see? Yeah, okay. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, uh, that window's definitely open yeah, and, and respect, the shade's a little that, cracked. All that respect and everything, they get drunk with it. So, not only do you have nowhere to go, no marketable skill, anyone finds out what you did do, now you really can't get a gig. Now, don't forget, this works against you outside. Yes, here. of course. Okay. Of course it does. So, oh, I was the number three guy in Scientology. <laughs> Pass. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yikes. All you're getting is dial tones. So, that's why he needed Aaron. Right. Okay? One of the, yeah. one of the most powerful people in this entire church's history needed Aaron to get a gig. Yep. He sure did. Okay? Yep. And if it's hard for him, imagine how hard it is for these people. Impossible. They don't have one suit. Yeah. The only suit they right. got is that the... the, the, the they're, they're Sea Orcs. Yeah, so you, I mean, you're gonna get some kind of Joeish job at, you know, at best. What can you do besides a greeter at Walmart? You see yeah, that yeah. In front, that probably scared the shit out of him. Totally. So you can't even. That do was that. his future. That's why I said overnights in Arco, you know, you can right. very few people. Totally. You know? Yeah, so yeah. Sell a couple of donuts or whatever. Um, Hanging out the Ralphs. <laughs> that's, that's what, but can you imagine? There's nothing wrong happens? with these jobs, but like, yeah, it, you know. Really, really he tough had, he had for these of people. Time, though, outside of here, and he had connections, and he had That's right. freedoms that no one else has. That's and right. He had clothes, and he had everything. They, and he was on television. On television, and he's known. He is super powerful here, and that's what it came down to. Okay, is is, is Aaron? So, imagine how hard it is for everybody else. I I can only imagine. Is the thing. All of the hardship that exists in this building, I can only imagine. There's people, the average person in here, here I bet you it's been 25 years since they had a job. Oh. That doesn't go well on your CV. No, it does not. Absolutely not. It says here you worked at in and out Burger in uh, uh, 84 for a summer. Yes. Uh, you forgot to write the rest. Mm -hmm. No, no. I was in a cult. Yes, exactly. <laughs> does that help? Right. <laughs> Do I have to tell you what you called? You know, are you? <laughs> so, and no one else wants to, to help you. You can't tell a stranger. That's why this foundation is so amazing. You know? Yes. I, I, and I just want to start from this point forward, like I said, just being super positive, which I think I was anyway. Like I said, I never said, don't give. Why the hell would I? Of course I want you to give to the SPT, SPTV Foundation. That's what I want you to give. But if you give to Africa, go ahead. Yep. That's the second best place I know. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> second best is pretty good. I'll take it. Yeah. You know, but but I, I wanted to get my feelings out because they were overwhelmingly, there are just too many things that weren't being touched on. And I understand why you don't want to lose momentum. You don't want, I don't have these issues. I don't care. Right. So I can just spit whatever I want. That's why I'm doing it, and it's for me. Yes, please. Wants to come on the ride, come on. Yes, please. Um, you know. Definitely, y'all in the chat, go for this ride. It's going to be great. Here's a super chat. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I just learned how to super chat. That was oh, cool. right on. Yeah, I, I passed some out yesterday, and uh, those are fun. It was so cool. Those are fun. I, I'm like, how do you? And I just started, you know, pushing everything. Um, <laughs> I don't think people know just how little I know about it. Like, I don't even know how I got on. Like, it's... it's. But you got on and you've got a third-party streaming, <laughs> like, app. That's, like, a whole thing. <laughs> going back and forth and <laughs> getting getting your channel connected. But the thing is, there are, just, there are tons of YouTube videos on how to do it. That was so helpful. That was so helpful. Absolutely. Uh, on just about everything, like how to fix just about every si system on any make and model of car, how to play just about any song on any instrument, it's all on YouTube. <laughs> I, I love the music education on YouTube. I think it's amazing. There's a lot of it that's at college level for free. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> you just have to know what it is. Oh, yeah, I guess they're using dumpster tech today. Oh, so yeah. embarrassing. We'll see. 
I mean, maybe that's for the street cleaning. I'm. Not, oh yeah, it definitely is. Um, we got the tech. Oh, they. Hi. They do. Hide. Like hell. Yeah, deploy a speaker, <laughs> and pull the shades down tight. Don't let anybody see what we're doing. Right. Because they're all bad media heads and poopy heads. And there are some people that are going to believe that stuff, but this that's, that's an area they don't do well. Right. You know, there's some things they do very well. That's not one of them. I agree. That that's they're suffering horribly. And, but they don't have to worry about it because they know you're stuck. Yep. You know, if, if one, you know what I always was, uh, one other thing I used to hope for, I thought would be really cool back when I was like 18, 19, 20, uh, would be like if, if one of these Sierra members won, you know, 100 grand in a scratch, you know, back in Oh, and what they would do with you that. Grab all your friends, like whoever runs the kitchen and all your boys, you know, and you're like, meet me out here, let <laughs> yeah. We're getting the fuck out of here. And, and then you just and you just drive to Reno or whatever. That would be and amazing. You're like, and then you can start your foundation there. Everyone got money. We got time to figure this out. Right. And kiss my. And I thought that would be so neat because how do I save that guy? Right. But if you're in there and all of a sudden you have an influx of cash, eesh, you could actually be like, dude, let's go. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, not not, not a major influx of cash east like that, but that's part of what these foundations are trying to offer is like an easier landing. You know what, just something you can confront is all you need. Oh, right, okay. That's, that's really what it is, because it's that first step. Once you've done it, you're going, okay, I didn't die today. Right, All right, tomorrow right. I'll open my both eyes. And, you know, they've gone through enough. They're hardened and they're smart. They just don't have a single clue of the real world out here right so they'll learn it quickly it's not going to be difficult what's difficult is that first step that has to be so scary because you see how they come after you they meet you you know they go to all the airports bus uh, uh terminals <sighs> they the hotels uh it's crazy so uh that first step when you don't have a friend no one to count on. Where do you sleep that night? Right. You have no money. Correct. If you're gonna leave, if you wait till you have money, you'll never leave. So you gotta, you're gonna leave here with about 11 cents and a cigarette butt and a couple polyester uh, slacks. Damn near see -through. Yeah. Yeah. You walk in the sun, you literally see their ass crack. <laughs> I mean, that's how many times they laundered that same fucking pair. Yeah. And and. Uh, uh, I can't imagine the fear. No. I cannot imagine the fear. I've never been in that position. You just, uh, you just, Anywhere this, close. This is not Kansas, you know? No. Um, granted, it's a lot better now than it was back in the in the day. This was something else. Yeah, because this was, like you were saying, uh, if, I, if I remember correctly, um, this used to be crawling with Scientologists, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, like right now. There would never be less than every couple feet. There'd be people that way and coming this way. Right. It's just a constant flow. And then you'd see all people like doing stuff, you know, clipping this. Doing exactly. That, moving here, moving there, moving that, painting this, putting up that. And then as far as public and staff, there would never be less than, you know, 50 people walking back and forth to everything up and down. At, right. And sometimes when there's a break, you would see 200 people. Right. Because they're all smoking fiends. Yes. Oh, so they need to they need to be outside every hour at least. Or every <laughs> anyway, couple. Uh, like you there was not there was never a place to sit. Like you would it would be a miracle if you got this. Oh little right. So the, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'd be like uh every step there's a person. I mean I, I used to smoke a ton of cigarettes, so the cool smoking spot, yeah, yeah, trying to find the real estate at the cool place where the cool people are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smoke with the real people. These people are, are all clear, boy. Yeah. You know, uh, and. But the 17-year-old kid yesterday I was talking to, he had no concept of that. I'm like, look at this. This is a ghost town. There's nobody here. Did you see what happened on, the, on Chris's? Yeah, yeah, of course. I was there. I was just down. So I, I had a conversation with that same kid oh for like 40 minutes. Okay. And then 
he went around the block and then had that conversation with Chris. And when that I was doing some chalk when he was talking to Chris, yes, I definitely saw that. Absolutely. And I saw, you know, William Gude show up and I saw the first security guard and, and the Scientologist came past me to, uh, to go grab him and marched him, marched him in the building. Yeah, I watched it while I, while it. I was in shock. Part of me, of course, is totally heartbroken. But yeah. one thing that I love as as an auditor now of this versus of that, <laughs> I hate the word auditor, uh, as a... Because of the financial thing. Well, no, just because I was one. Oh, 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 Jesus, sorry. That's the worst thing you could ever Good think. Lord. Um, but as someone who's now... Of course. ...what I'm doing on this side, because nothing shows you what you already know better than what we saw there. Yep. Yep. We all know this. Yep. Everyone inside there knows that's how it goes. It's called 8C, which is short for control. Yeah. Tone 40. Right. And and you just grab and go. Yep. And you just leave. You know? And uh, like some kind of uh, North Korean waltz. Yes. And... That poor kid. But guess what? Now... That really, he was already, he's already got a foot out. Oh yeah, no, he was, da- Bad he was doubting, Bad he was doubting in my conversation and, and you could see the pain in his face when he yeah, was talking, uh, it, we, we are assuming okay. perhaps he did tell, he told me his sisters in the Sea Org, it very well could have been, and that's, that's what Natalie thinks, um, in her in her wrap up video uh, this morning, that's what she said. I, I tend to agree with that. I think that's a reasonable assumption because it seemed like mom energy kind of thing. Is I what she said, and I agree. I wish, I wish I heard. Oh, what 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 what? Uh, when, when yeah, she, yeah, yeah, she yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and he's just looking at Chris and trying to ignore her. She's holding his hand, and I can't see what she's saying. Right. But it's obviously, you know. Uh, again, how they get you? I mean, you can see I'm out of my mind. But guess what? I could shut the fuck up for 40 years for my sister. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, there just trying go. to keep it, keep maybe that kid. It has a long road to hoe. And again, maybe he has nowhere to go. That as well. That that looks like it very well may be the I, case. I, you know, I moved out at, at 16 or 17. And, uh, you know, but my rent was three ninety five a month. Utilities paid in that green building next to Ayo. Good Lord. That was my first place I ever got. Good Lord. That's awesome. And, um. <laughs> Holy Moses. It, it had a Murphy bed. Oh, okay. And yeah, uh, yeah. what was great was, it came out sort of cool, but when you, when, <laughs> like three students, when you, you lift it over that dance, it would go like, Whoa! Wow. It shaked the entire building. Like oh right, so it's, so it's on like inch inch diameter springs. It's 1950. Yeah. It just, oh, if you were sitting there, if you, oh my god, dude, you'd get smashed like a pancake. Uh, it was so loud. Wow. <laughs> and the place was like a million degrees. Oh the sun right. Hits it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's no air, and uh, uh, I would get up and a sheet would just stick to me. Like, yeah, brutal. Yeah, and all all the furniture. Was like for people who died in the 40s, probably. So I, I had like see. an Archie Bunker chair that was checkered. Oh, wow. A- another checkered nice. but non matching love seat. Nice. But Different that- checkers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could say you were power clashing. You're power clashing. <laughs> it, it, but all I owned was a, a, a Budweiser beer phone. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, sure. Uh, and I had a five inch color TV that I bought from a garage sale for five, five bucks. And uh, and that was the totality of, of what I had. So the furniture was great. And uh, <laughs> and that's where I told you I could listen to all the uh, musters and stuff. Yes. Because they never know you're, they can't see me, but I right. can hear them just like I can hear you. Oh, right, yeah. So I got to hear like people's gripes and shit. It would suck though. It was all. It would always be like forty-five seconds before the, the, the big dog would come or whatever, and they all have to shut the fuck up. And all right. The, the mustard. But for that forty-five, you would hear a bunch of natter. That's in Scientology. That's complaining. Yep. 
and uh, um, <laughs> I love that one. Uh, I can hear that strife because it was coming from the big dogs at AO. I love hearing that. Right, right. But, uh, yeah, being communicated down the line. The last thing you know they did was the Purif, and I'll talk about that too. That's the last thing I ever did here. And uh, jeez, I'll talk about that later too. So, yes, yeah, please. Every, yes, we all want to hear about that. Every single course I did, I'll I'll, I'll touch on, and then I'll, t- I'll then I'll tell you what I know about the other ones because you know I I have family and friends that have done everything there is, and uh, I'll just tell you what I know and my take, and hopefully. I can stop somebody from getting too far. Right. Because they'll say, hey, that's the same bullet. That's why I love when the SPTV community gives out the clear cognition. Yes, we love it. It's so funny to me. because, And for good reason, that was hidden even better than they hid the OT shit. Right. Because, man. Because ruining clear. How are you supposed to go clear? Yeah. Yeah, ruining clear is just really mucking up the works. But, but I want everyone out there who can Google or, or check out Clear on one of these sites, see what it, what the power, or I'll go over it too on one if I have to. Yes, please. But, but you'll, you'll see what you're supposed to get from being Clear. Absolutely. It's so funny. Because again, there's a million more Clears than OTAs. Right. But again, of course. you have to now go, you know, they'll say, they'll stop everything on, the, on every floor. They'll be like, selfless self. Do I have your attention, please? Help us help. Just went clear. And it's like it's like WWF, right? Yeah. Oh my fucking god! Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. And then after incessant douche, a minute and forty-five seconds. I mean, James Brown never got a fucking. You know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so real North Korea stuff. Woo. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to be the one who's not doing. Oh, that. absolutely Look not. Look at him. Yes. <laughs> you beat me to it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, slap tech. Yeah, if you don't do that, but 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 you immediately have to come up, Johnny Spot. So I know you put time in ahead of time because you ain't uh, Jay Leno. So I know I'm the nope. one who had to think about what I'm going to say. Right. I didn't go clear, thank God, because I didn't get through that scam. Um, but I, I did, you know, plenty of the, uh, got plenty of that out of me, which is just horrific. So, but every time you finish a course, they, they stop the academy and, and everyone listens to you. And then on graduation, same shit. So you're literally keeping in mind what the end phenomena was. You know, you can't, if you know what it is, it's like doing homework in high school. Right. The teacher knows the bullshit. You can't just yeah, go yeah, through yeah. the notes that are on the Google or whatever. Right, right. <laughs> you got so you so you go, okay, here's the end phenomena. How do I make it sound like it's for me, like me? And then you always want to give an example. So you not only go, yeah, you know, <laughs> I've never had so much this, that, and the other, and boy, oh boy, and whoopity woo. And I'll tell you, when it first hit me, yeah, I, mean, yeah, I was uh, doing such and such, and I went, no, sir. That's you or something. And he was like, oh, and I was like, bah, 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 bah. and then we're like, yeah. And then the whole place goes, ah! and it was all bullshit. Yep. And they all know it's bullshit. Right. Most of them have done the course. Yes, exactly. Right. So but they know what's expected of them. We all did a hundred percent lunacy report for five minutes. And it gets so hard to take. Uh. I would like, I would like, Literally, like, I, I mean, this is how good I got at stuff. Like, if I saw someone that the, the, the soup was running with a student, you know, Thursday at two or whatever, and they want to get this win out, get this graduation, and I see it coming, I'd be like, boom, and uh, call to the bathroom. Because to me, that was one of the hardest things to, to even put up with. Oh Listen yeah. Listen to people's wins that you know are bullshit. Yeah, they're not freaking wins. Yeah. And like I said, I I always would immediately say knee jerk. I got this and that and the other. I'm ready. And I'll and I'll tell you that's how I feel and all all all. That's what you do when you're in here. Yep. But it still took years for me, even though I know I have no wins, to be able to be. That's now my answer. Right. 
It has to be. Of course. It has to be your answer. If you can make, if hey, listen, if four plus, uh, if four plus five is 16, and, and that helps you, then great. That's right. But. <sighs> no, but that that's a concept in George Orwell's 1984. <laughs> is getting people to believe two plus two equals five. And if you can get them to accept that, everything else follows. As long as you keep the light off yourself too. That's another thing that's not talked about enough, is that, you know, you're always doing pirouettes and and come and trying to beat, beat things before they get to you. And uh, you have your excuses ready at all times. Right. And you're ready to sell people out at it instantly. That's the team you get over here. Cause that's just like, you're you're constantly at war with everybody. You're your own kind of nation state and you have to be like your own security force, your own intelligence services, hatchet man, diplomat, diplomat to like all of these other people, know everybody else's gains, games and how they're trying to game you. And everybody's doing that to each other seemingly. Everybody at war with each other in a way. And oh, here's another good part that we didn't talk about, which is now you have to act like your best pals with the guy who just ratted you out. Right, right. Still, Otherwise, exactly. You, you, you did me a problem. favor. You yes. did me a favor. Thank you for man for setting right. me straight, bro. That was, uh, that was big. Thanks for fucking up my my liberty and everything else. Yeah, you know, right. Beans and rice, but thank God, because you know now I'm on the right path. Son of a <laughs> yeah, bitch, yeah, right. right? <laughs> and that's what you say. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Yeah. Hey, nothing else. That's exactly what you're saying. Oh yeah. <laughs> but you have to act like. What about the guy who gets you? Who gets you on the RPF? Oh right. Oh my God! Because of you, I'm wearing all black. No one will talk to me. Beans and rice, and I'm, I'm cleaning these fucking trash bins. Yep. With, with a toothbrush in 110 degrees. Yeah. But we're pals. Don't worry. That's right. I'm that's good. right. I'm, I'm covered in dumpster juice, but yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I'm over it. It's all yeah. good. Don't yeah, it's all right. That was, you know, greatest good and all that for sure. The greatest for the greater good yeah, for the oh. dear leader. The greatest good. Yeah, which is clearing the planet. Yeah. Let me just ask you. Okay, you think that's unfair? Let me just put it out there. Would you take one ass fucking in the whole world perfect? Would you take it? You're supposed to go, of course, of course. But the real answer is no. If that's yeah. your answer, fuck you. Yeah, right. You're an idiot. Yeah, well, if you're talking non-consensual, yes. Yeah. But that's, that's how they try to pose it. Indeed. So, it's just because you have low confront, you know. Oh, jeez. You know, once you can understand, you know, it's the greatest good. It ain't the greatest good for my butthole. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm concerned with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you're you yeah. ain't being nice. You didn't even take me out on a date. <laughs> Come on, ask please. You don't even get a kiss, and, and, and you gotta pay. If you know what Scientology is, paying for endless dates, or the chick, you know, just leaves after her last bite. She goes, I'm gonna hit the restaurant and just bails. It, it'd be like a chick dipping out on a thousand dates in a row. That's Scientology. Yeah, yeah, the same way as soon as the last morsel of food passes the teeth. All right. Oh, I got to use the restroom. Later. And <laughs> cuz you you never get a payoff here. That sounds mean. <laughs> oh, you know sometimes cuz I don't know if you know this either. There's only you have to decide. They make you decide. At first, first you do whatever you want. But then you quickly have to decide. Are you going to do the mornings? Like you can do nine to five, right? Or nine to six, rather. And then you can do seven to ten thirty Monday through Friday, right? Nine to five. Oh, for Saturday courses, yes. Right, right. So for the people who've got the day, and for the people who work and then work again. Yeah, don't think this is something that you can just. Oh, I do Scientology three hours on Wednesday, like it's like yoga. Right. No, it's it's seven to ten thirty Monday through Friday. Yes. Nine to five Saturday Sunday. That's what I was doing. Yeah. Or you can do just nine to six Monday through Friday. Right. That's just so much you time. You know how hard it is to confront missing out on cool shit. You know, if someone tells you, hey, you know, we're going to Malibu, we're going to have a cookout, fuck around. Oh, no, I'm, I'm reading Dianetics. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Dude. I mean, who the hell is going to understand that who's not in this? Uh, but you're always hiding that anyway. Like I said, yeah, your whole right. life is a lie in this. Yeah. Every single facet is a lie. 
it's that disgusting and it's that exhausting. Right. You know? So, um, <laughs> it's just it's hard to believe that they did this good of a job though. But they did. This is this is mind control at its finest. Fuck religion. You can't even get caught up in that because that's just nonsense. It's not even. It's a part of you know, game. It's as important as looking at work. Don't don't won't lose the ball. Yes. The ball is going to be wherever you don't pick. Correct. So don't even worry about it. Oh, it's not even going to be on the table <laughs> when you pick. But as soon as he lifts up the cup, there it is yeah. right here. Yeah. Where he lifts up the cup that it's that he chooses it's going to be under and places it there. That's how sleight of hand works. So that When you pick, it's not on the table. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so that's that Scientology. Yeah. 100%. And, uh... You know, but like like people are gonna see if you look at my uh, my uh, live stream from today. Like I say, I also show you how that all works, and it's it's it's, it's really good. It's Trickster City. I'm looking you know? forward That's to it. That's how they get everybody. And I know a lot of smart people, like we talked about, that got conned by this shit. Oh yeah. My family was smart, but. That's why I try to tell people, because this is so easy to laugh off. It really is. That that was my problem, first off, was, well, as a kid, I didn't get the consequences until I saw them going after, you know, this homeless couple that I had taken into my house uh, to try to clean them up, and they they tried to pick them up, and we had to rescue them from the Marlboro Street Org in Boston. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that was the first time, that's the first time I saw it. So wow. we brought these kids in. They were traveling around, gypsies, 19, 20 years old. And, and uh, we, we, we got a call from them. Uh, oh, wow. We got a call from them uh, one day uh, in hush tone saying, we just, we just saw some movie and we don't know what's really going on, but they're trying to sell us a book, I think. And we, we don't have any money. You come down and get us. And... So I knew exactly where they were. They were Mal Marlboro Street in the back bay of Boston. Wow. Went down there with the band van, grabbed them, uh, and realized then, holy damn, like they're going after the, the most vulnerable people out here, like targeting them specifically. And they're not going to do anything for these kids. They're going to take their whole lives from them. That's what they're going to do. So... And don't forget, their whole thing is make the able more able. There's never been a church on earth that has more disdain for, for the, the homeless. It's awful. For people on a bad street. Yeah. For homosexuals. Right. You know, he says you should be on an island. It's know. disgusting. You're one one. For anyone who doesn't know, that's called covert hostility. That's like the biggest slap in the face that this church has for you, where you're above body death on its own scale. Ah. Uh. So. What one one means is yeah, 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 yeah. covert hostility. So I'm shaking your hand while I got a knife right. in the back yep. of my, you know, so you don't see it. Yep. <laughs> and that if you are a deviant, uh, which is a homosexual, in Ron's definition, yep. Um, you cannot be anything but one one. Right. Yeah, you it's are just possible. there forever. Exactly. So, you are always covertly hostile. So, so. There's never been a religion, and we should never be using the word religion. There should, there's never been a scam. Yeah, cool. A full-blown scam that hated the broke or the out on their luck or whatever. And they even do it when you come in here, because don't forget, a lot of this happens to a ton of people. Yep. They come in here doing well. Yep. As far as financially and everything else, you just had a few, a few you know, personal issues. Right. Okay? Now, next thing you know, they got all your dough. The love bombs and everything else. Okay. You got all your dough. Call and then when you don't have drama. money for that Call next. Too much drama. I can't do this. For the next. Uh, I think they're trying to confirm her for the next event. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, this, this. Where the fuck was that? That, that totally tripped me out. Um, um, but 
yeah. So anyhow, this this whole this this no one cares less about yeah about those. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now. Right, right. right. We're talking about one care. one deviants. So they Indeed. even say they even treat you that way once you are having a bad go. Right. So now you don't have money to give me. Right. Or and, and you haven't given them IAS any money for a while. What's right. Up with that. Because you don't have any. Because you don't have it. Yeah. And and then it becomes an ethics issue. Right. And then they don't really care if you're there or not. Who the hell cares if you're on lines? Why do we even want you on lines if you have no more money? You're just wasting our fucking time. Pretty much. Okay? It ain't like a Christian reading room. So, do they have you, like, kind of go out there and beat the bushes for more cash to get on lines, basically? This is what they tell the people that work there. Everybody. Like, you're not... You, you, there's no such thing as someone that doesn't have money. <laughs> because you have a friend. Oh, right. Only five people removed. Right, 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 right. I've heard Natalie say exactly this. Yeah, you're right. You're five people removed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Names. How come you can't get some up? <laughs> you know? Kevin Bacon, what, is six people removed from me? Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> Kevin Bacon hears from everybody in his life about some money. That's why. All of those people do. They, right. I mean, all their family members and anybody that oh. ever knew them for five minutes. Oh. If you just give me 12 million, I swear in three days we'll have 57 million. <laughs> uh, I always told people that I go, yeah, my friends will know if I won the lottery because they'll get a check within days. If you don't, if you're not one of those, don't need to ask. That ain't coming. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they'll even so. In other words, it doesn't matter if you start here and financially go to here. Right. You still get the same treatment as everyone else who is here. Yep. Yep. So yeah, no matter what you gave. Because you're obviously out of. We don't have time for you. You're not going to get your shit together. You know, what are you? What are you really doing? What are right. you hiding? What do you not want me to know? Right. That I hate you. Yes. I, I hope and, you fall down the stairs. And I hate this. Right. And everything. Oh. Are you okay, sir? Do you need help? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Can you get up? Are you all right? No problem. All right. Yeah, that's right. Is is being a human being. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> yeah. No more of that. But also, Scientology was embarrassing for me. Okay? Yes. Because so many things are so stupid, and they come from the 50s and 60s, from a guy who had no sense of humor and was a completely adult free. Okay? Yeah. So, nowadays, I can't even imagine the douche chills that you would get. Right. It's like, I mean, there was no... Everyone knows... But the people who don't want to know. So. Yes. Nowadays. Yeah, but after 2004, that's that's when I learned everything. That's when the the kind of the beginnings of the dark web released everything. Everything online or they started to. And so like like all of the manuals, like the bridge, like just about everything that was publicly available in PDF form they threw out there and then after a time um channelology the part of anonymous did it again through wikileaks in 2008 but that was circulating around the internet by 2004 and that's the first time i saw an an ias convention video is the 2004 one with tommy cruz getting the Met medal of liberty freedom justice and the american way freaking tool you know, a big part, one thing that really hurt this place, because I knew a ton of people who were in that this affected. Yeah. Last straw style, which was when Tommy said, there's no disconnection. 
That's all bullshit. Oh my God, yeah. He said that on TV. So stupid. Nightline, like one of them kind of shows, and he was like, yeah, there is no disconnection. Yeah. And me and everyone was like, what? what? Because part of how they get away with all this is, is everything's unjustified. Like, they don't need to justify anything. Right. If it says here, you know, eat a worm, dude, what, how come you're not chilling? Like, get the scratch. That's, That's what LRH said, eat the worm. Eat the worm. Dude. Jeez. What's wrong <laughs> with you? So, you don't, there's nothing to talk about. Nope. It's just, so uh, that's how they get away with so much of this. Like people go, well, why would you ever? Because you're so. It's just such a little bit of the time, you know. It just very. It takes a long time. It doesn't happen right away, you know. And and the first four, five, six months, like I said, that you're here, you're really enjoying. It. Yes. They make it that way on purpose. And, yes, of course. And those are the only ones you have because it's the only time they're teaching you stuff that's not Scientological. It's actually normally just incredibly general, you know, but it is sort of reining you in. Sure. Because what, what, one thing we normally have in common when there's a lot of strife and we're fucked up is we start doing, we don't take care of ourselves, right? Yes. So then, you know, maybe you were drinking too much. You right. Know? And you get that, you get a hold of that because you can't drink and go to course you get, within 24 hours. Yes, that's right. So guess what? Someone like me, unless you do the nine to six, that allows you to drink on the weekend. Yep. But like me, there was never a day I could drink. Oh. Yep. I needed a drink. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> I think many of us do. <laughs> Shit. Ice or no, who cares? Just pour that bug. All pour right. <laughs> I, I know what you mean. Make sure I don't give a shit. That's how you get in here. But uh, you know how there's things going on that you let get too wild and crazy. And so just being part of this, they put you in like one of those baby blankets, you know? <laughs> uh, where yeah, you feel like, exactly. Okay, now I'm not hurting myself. Yeah, they swaddle you. <laughs> That's great. And, and, and you're not hurting yourself and and, uh, and people are seemingly caring about you. And I don't even think they're I don't even think it's bullshit. I think they do. And that's why it works. Because sure. it, it's, your spider sense never goes off. Right. Because yeah. The, I mean, it, it's it's way easier to get away with a lie if you believe it at the time. And, way and easier. And this is easy stuff to push. It's sure, sure. Okay, easy okay. Easy yeah, 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 yeah. This is just simple. Off-the-shelf self-help stuff. Stop fucking yourself up. You know, be good to the people who are good to you. Whatever. And, right. And you're like, but well, that shit's really important. And that stuff does fade away when you're in the midst of bullshit. Absolutely. So you sort of do this little checklist. It's all just helping you. Yep. And whenever you confront something, it takes a huge bunch of pressure off of it. Right? Regardless of the result, just confronting it is, is a wonderfully healthy thing. And... Um, so the fact that you were willing to accept support and you were doing something where you weren't just like some rich asshole in Bel Air saying, you know, okay, call up the guy because I'm not in a great mood. I'm going to bring some pills. And then I'm going to tell you all about them, whatever, in the fucking uh, hour and a half. I got to go. You know, that's yep. how people deal. No, I'm talking about Scientology makes you believe. No, no, you're, a, you're, you're you are your solution. Yes. You don't have to rely on am I a great whatever. Yes. You are going to make sure you win. Right. Wow, that's cool. I only got to rely on me. Nice, because I just got fucked over by six other people. And you know, But just do everything we tell you to do, and you can rely on yourself. And the only time you'll ever hear this, and you'll hear it incessantly until you get to the academy. But it's always, there's another line that's 100% bullshit. Right. A complete bargain line that uh, LRH says, uh, if it's true for you or if it's not true for you it ain't true <laughs> that's solipsism <laughs> that's like you know the the only reality is existing in my own brain and the rest of you are all projections yeah. or who knows what that is in the, like the denial of us having a shared reality if you believe that anything anything is possible at that point that is Horrifying. So, yeah, you know, but it, but, it, but it takes, like, this way there's no pressure because they know that they never had a good PR, right? Right. So how can we really assuage fear quickly? 
Go with it. Don't worry about it, man. If it ain't true for you, it ain't true. Don't worry about it. We're not trying to make you believe nothing. This is something you do. It's not something you believe. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you give us money and you can't believe it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Solid Sciento Slam. You know, and, uh, but that takes the pressure off. You know? Right, okay, right. So they're not making me go, you know, humming a humming a humming a humming. I don't have to do that if I don't want to. No, you don't. Oh, oh right. All right. Um, Just might have you run around a pole for a whole day or something. <laughs> you know. That's 50 grand. That's big. Enough. <laughs> uh, for, for 50 bucks, you get a kick in the nuts, maybe. But, mm. um, yeah, so, you know, it's it, it, they take all that pressure off you. But the truth is, you have to do everything that Ron ever said to the syllable. Yes. To the finest syllable. Right. Or it's your ass. Yep. And nothing's going to work. And he'll single-handedly destroy everything. <laughs> but if it's not true for you, no, it's not true. Yeah, bullshit. Just like they tell you you can be any religion. Because they have to. What are they supposed to say? You can't X, X out 90% of your people, right? Correct. So Not at first. Right. So if I go, hey, how you doing today? And you go, good, yeah. oh, great. What, uh, are you uh, religious by chance? Well, I'm, uh, you know, sort of in and out, you know, whatever. Yeah. Lapsed oh, Catholic good. or whatever, yeah. yeah. Or you go, you know what, I'm Jewish, so I don't have any, you know, hey, right. don't worry, you could be anything. This has nothing to do with that. Right. This is this is an applied religious philosophy. Right. Well, it's how do you a get... a great way of explaining nothing. How do you get your tax-exempt status on an applied religious philosophy that's not a religion? Right. Yeah. Selfless self? Yes. I didn't watch... Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I have news for you, folks. Breaking news. You ready? I am ready. Oh no! Did you guys hear? You don't no. say, you don't say. Holy Breaking smokes. News. All right. He's back. Well, hot off the presses, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, LRH. There's evidence. Yeah, all of it. Self -self, I want to Thank you very much. Stay strong, stay good. Will do. That was hilarious. A little absurdism, a little deep sarcasm. That was all the sarcasm. I loved it. Absolutely. Great look, too. Yeah. Classic biker thing. I, I, I could, that's how, how wonderful that is for me to hear. I can't tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just that it's, let's have that be just like a common joke. Because it's, it's like he's such a... To be doing this in 1993. Oh, heck no. We would have had a stand over on Edgemont or something. Right. Okay. That's how many people were here. Um, and again, they were winning, so they wouldn't have cared about us anyway. Right. They would have done it the right way then. Right. What they're proving now is, dude, we're, we're, we're hanging by a thread here. Right. We can't have you shutting our shit down. Well, also what I've been saying on that basis is it seems David Miscavige has run this organization into the ground since the 80s. And, I mean, from what it was, he has mismanaged all of whatever this was and it is a shadow of its former self, even though, which is a good thing, I think, for humanity, but still, if you're trying to support little Davy and his fake Space Navy, he ain't doing so great. I, I think that this is strictly a real estate scam at this point. With it you. always was, but now it's With strictly you. that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He does, the only reason he cares about any of this headache is so he can keep the tax exemption. Yep. He'll have to sell half of the shit in the portfolio pay taxes that they, they lose this exemption. Oh, sure, sure, okay. sure. And then he's going to need to sell a quarter, or at least half of the re of the remainder in order to uh, just keep stuff afloat long enough to, to liquidate the other quarter. Right. And then, like I said, that's why I envision this place just shutting down and you're just going to see chains on everything and that's yep. the end of it. And they're going to leave all, all these people uh, hanging. hanging. And that's it. And that's and, how this is going to end. I mean, there's gonna they're going to have to I don't know, it's got a lot of work for social workers to try to re-assimilate uh, these people into regular society because they're going to be totally lost. And hopefully at that moment, the foundation kicks in, comes in. I mean, not. I mean, seemingly SPTV Foundation and to a degree, the aftermath will swoop in there and do it and have its greatest hour. I very much hope to see that in a short order of time. I think that could very well be how this goes because I don't think he cares at all about them. There's no exit plan no. for them. It's no. meaningless to him. And uh, it's 
it's getting tricky too because if you notice, like you saw South Africa where they're not paying the power bill. Oh man. And that gorgeous place they got. There. Oh man, what? And they got like a fifty-seven thousand dollar power bill. Oh right, of course. Because they've got a, that, that huge building. But, but, like, okay, take any faith you want to. They would step in if they owned the building, and they would pay those those payments. Of course. Scientology goes, you guys better figure it out. You're not going to have any lights, even though they own it. Right. It's psychotic. It's yeah. It's so incredible. Or, like, take out a loan against, like, your, your other stuff, which is what they generally do anyway, but they're going to hit up... Their members, their membership. But they all have the same exact problem as Austin. And I hope these guys figure this out pretty quickly, which is every single ideal org has the exact same problem. Lack of staff, but it's not actually, you have too much staff. You have one student and 12 people working there. Right. You're fine. Yep, yep. Okay, and he's about to blow anyway. Correct. Starting tomorrow, you probably won't need nothing. Yep. So, <laughs> uh, that's gonna happen, that's happening everywhere. Yes. Absolutely everywhere. Um, and if your own church won't support you, what are you supposed to do? You're going to do this in the dark? That shows yeah. that he doesn't give a shit about the, about this getting out or disseminating. Or Absolutely not. No, he's just, he's just hiding the money in buildings. He's like, look. Just hiding the money in buildings. Sell some more books. You know, of course we're going to sell you the books you got to sell, but anyway, sell some more books. Um... <laughs> And, and he said, I mean, it's supposed to be one church. Yeah, how come you can't give me the books? Right. Well, because it's not actually coming from us, it's coming from all the services. And they have to get paid. Why? Why can't it all be under one umbrella? Why have you separated this out into all of these corporate structures in, uh, in a sh like a nesting doll-like situation? Yeah. To, to absolve yourself of liability, obviously, is why anybody does that. I know how to do that. I've done it once. If you cared about the place at all, you'd say, I have to step in, even though I don't want to. You guys better get on the ball. But yes, of course, we're going to pay the power bill so people have a place to study. Right. <laughs> okay. Yep. Now you're on your own. Good luck. What? You know, and yep. I heard that New York doesn't have money for the, what, to keep the elevators on? Oh, my God. They tell God. them they got to take the stairs. What? Yeah. In New York City? Okay, they're like, keep that power bill, you know. They, they couldn't have cared about anything back in the day because the money was just flying in, flying in from every direction. Yep. And now, I mean, you see the Clearwater live streams. It's, it's, that it's, blows me away it's too. dead everywhere. There's nobody. Nobody. The, yeah. I mean, the two beating hearts of the things globally, <laughs> and they're, they're just totally dead. Which, I, I mean, should give everybody the impression we're nearly there. We're nearly at the end game, and we should get ready to, like, receive a whole lot of damaged people who are going to be coming out of here. The problem for Scientology is proof in the pudding. So if you get 12 good people together, and, they, and they're used to kicking ass, yep. and, and they, they're all smart, and they're all, the only thing, but they're failing at everything, and the only common denominator is Scientology. Right. One of them is gonna go, hey, hey, I figured it out, dude, this stuff doesn't work. Oh, yep. <laughs> the reason I can't help anyone, can't co confront shit, can't do anything, is because it doesn't work. Yep. We're using it. Yep. Hi, sir, would you like to watch a two-hour movie that was just horrific? Uh, the worst thing ever, worst writing, worst everything ever? Could I take, would you like to do that, sir? What the fuck kind of picture is that? I mean, but a movie was like, oh, a free movie back then. I got air conditioning. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Down, it's a little tired. Right, okay, fine. Cool. Yeah, fine. Now people watch, you know, uh, a Scarface on their phone. Yep, yep. Know, while they're eating lunch. Exactly. Yeah, no one cares about this shit. Correct. What they That's a done, very good point. They should have come out five, ten years ago with that, uh, 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 what do you call it, virtual reality, all that VR shit. Oh, hey, right. Come in and sit one of these round son of a bitches and fight off the space aliens. Let's fucking go. Yep. You know, have some fun. Now you bring them in while their while their parents are doing whatever. No, they're they're like. Did you see they were giving away hand sanitizer? Right, right. Boy, that's, yeah, that's yeah. in line that's, with what yeah, kids absolutely. Really they really want some alcohol-based cleaner. Yes, please. Well, I mean, I I see uh, <laughs> the you know the U.S. Army recruitment centers. They've got Call of Duty up there. 
they've got they've got kids playing Call of Duty. They they know what's up. They know what the kids want. They want to play a video game. And you see some recruiters in there, sadly, playing Call of Duty, waiting to sign somebody else up. And so it's like, yeah, yeah, I completely agree. If they had modernized, if they knew anything about uh, what's going on right now or how to attract kids, uh, well, we'd have a tougher time bringing it down. And so, I mean, thank the maker, they're uh, incompetent. Yeah, for real. And they can't and they can't even... Um they can't figure out one fun, like, they have this, another problem, which is they, they have to use, like, a telex and shit, because that's what Ron said. You yep, know, you yep, know. which is right. just, what the hell? <laughs> so, if they were going to come out with something, it'd probably be like Atari 2600 at this point. Ha <laughs> ha! Because they found one last note before he died in 84, where he was like, oh, I love playing to the tank game. That's on right. Atari 2600. And, uh, and then maybe they could get a couple kids, but... Like those 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 kids at the at who the like retro center, games, yeah. Those are the youngest kids in the entire church, probably. Oh my God! Take a look around. I mean, everybody, the average age of a Sea Org member has got to be fifty. Yep, agreed. It has to be agreed. That used to be in my day. It used to be twenty-five. Correct. 30. Yeah. It was just young go-getters just smoking right? it. Right? Totally and smoking. And smoking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There was a cigarette shop that was killing right over there. I bet. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. If I was a tobacconist. And, and plus, back then, you'd even see people smoking those, like, $7 packs of the Shermans. Nat Shermans. Yeah. I worked at a tobacconist. I've had all of the Nat Shermans. Nice, the Black Beauties. Uh, the, all of it. All the... The Black and Gold. Ones, yeah, yeah, all of that stuff. Yeah. The Turkish ones. I mean, they, they, they were smoking good out here. And, uh, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, th this uh, this place called Levitt and Pierce. Oh! Yeah, it sure is. Good to see you. All right. Oh, wicked, wow. wicked. You've got a spot right there across the street. Okay, I'm gonna park. Here. Wicked. I'll come by. Awesome. Yeah, make that Yui. That's a four-hour spot. That's as good as it gets right here. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, until the sun goes down. But yeah. Boom! Nice. Success. Wicked. Yeah, they're they're all old as hell now. Awesome. They know to honk now too, <laughs> even without the sign. Honk if you know it's I a cult. That. Yeah. I love that. I, I'm surprised we haven't been trespassed for uh, sitting on their wall. They definitely know who I am. They know who you are. Oh, of course. Yeah. I think what they also know, though, is... And they've got that camera right there. Oh. So, yeah. But, they, but it, it, this is a really hard thing to do when you have... You know, it's, it's hard to intimidate people who aren't afraid of you. Correct. It's just hard. And it might be embarrassing. It could be very embarrassing. <laughs> And, Thank you, Kimberly. Uh, Sweet. Yeah, I don't. I'm gonna see that. I mean, you know, listen. Why even? If they haven't learned by the time I get here and say my piece, right? That doing what they've done is why this is killing them now. Yeah. If they would have ignored it back then, it wouldn't have made a shit difference. Probably not. You know, and and what you do is is you go. Let me open this up wider. Since I'm getting free press. Pretty much, yeah, exactly. Right, right. We're getting some more lighting out here because I want, I want it to be good for you guys. Yes, please. Is it better if we turn it in? You know? And I'd like if you're going to, you know, if you be here, I think you can see the people come in and out and see what we do. And if anyone wants to come inside, come with me. You know, if you want a drink, you can use the restroom. The best. Absolutely. You be a person, you be inviting, you, you be gracious, you be generous. Try staying fired up against that. Yeah, no. They're gonna be like, you know what, I got better shit. All right, and yeah, I mean, you guys seem halfway cool, I, yeah. you know, geez. It's yeah. like, that's why I don't go after the Hare Krishnas. I'm not like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll make, I'll make fun of them. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. You know, I, I had a Mormon buddy who, um, he got down on his luck. Uh, and the church paid his rent. Boom. I'm like, dude. Whoa. 
Wow. Whoa. I never even, I mean, this is so, my brain almost fucking melted. Yep. I'm just like, what, like, yep. what did you say? Now, granted, he's been giving tides a 10%. Right, right, right. But, yeah, right. absolutely. But still, <laughs> I I mean, go, that's taking care of uh, your cash cow, at least, with the tithing. I go, you just told your your dude that you were short, and they literally gave a check to the landlord. Right. Wow. Yep. Yep. All I'm going to get is an invite to the LRH birthday party with no way of getting it. Right, exactly. And, you know, so that you could be encouraged maybe to give them more money, right? Is that's what those events are, fundraisers, right? I used to, when I was, I hadn't, I wasn't really, I mean, I was already out, but not official, you know, like I never was official. Right. But I just started, they see me less and less and less. And uh, then I started, you know, goofing around a little bit. Like, I would say, I don't have a single penny. I go, and I was doing well. So yeah. I got side of it. Right. I was starting to kick ass. Cool. But I said, I said, I don't have a single penny to my name. I am upside down, inside fucking out. Yeah. Okay. In fact, I was hoping, do you know anyone who could help me out? Maybe let me some dough until I get back on Front Street. And then and I was like, oh, dude, I got to go, you know, whatever. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and oh, my yeah. phone stops ringing. Oh, jeez. Why are you going to call the guy who just literally was like, dude, I'm broke as a joke? Yeah. You don't have a better lead than that? Oh, God. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Yeah. You definitely have better leads than that. So you don't... Oh, so wait, 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 wait. Okay, so Otherwise, Scientology off. 400 calls. Oh, right, have right. confirmed for the LRH event 300 yeah. times? Yes. Okay, thanks. Yes. What? Right. I mean, that's how inefficient this place has always been since day one. There's 19 people doing the same job over and over and over, you know, but it's all run on a point system, which is so insane because we're supposed to manage by statistics. Well, okay, but I'm, I'm, I'm the one making the rules and changing the rules. Right. So what does it really mean anyway? You know, I can, I can say, I, you know, the, up, the, the people on top can be like, They'll, they'll justify so they don't get in trouble. But depending on you and how you're doing with this place, they might not give you that same credit. So they'll say, you're, we're going to assign you a condition, you know, liability or whatever. But if you're, if, if you're, they, they can bend the rules any way they want to. You know, any way they want to. Definitely. Well, it's, uh, in the rules that they can bend the rules. Yeah. Even though everyone knows they're not supposed to. Right. You know, but but it, like everything they do doesn't work. It, none of it works. So I'm sorry if I'm not too fearful. No, don't be sorry. Out of a hundred. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm making things work. Right, because it's just evident. If they did absolutely nothing, they'd be in such a better position. You know, but they 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 the ego makes them do this. Like there was no need for any 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 of the stuff that's happened to have happened if they would have played their cards correctly. Totally. I know, let's get everyone beat up and arrested and all this shit, and then maybe, you know, maybe that'll help. Indeed. But, yeah, it's going to mess you up. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to make you look like a fool. And this is just the beginning, and that's what I hope happens. Like I said, I hope born-ins and people who were in the park now, your ex, whatever you call them, um, you know, come out and help say your story. Right. Um... It feels fantastic getting this shit off your chest. Heck yeah. And, uh, you know, do your part, no matter how small. It might be all you can do is one thing a month or something. Who cares? Do it. It all starts there, you know? Absolutely. You can't start out as awesome as self as self. <laughs> you got, a, you got a, a lot of, you know, you're like, you driving across the country and doing all this, like I said, I feel like it's for me. So I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm Oh, it's for all of you, and it's definitely for you too. Absolutely. That's what it feels like. Well, that that I mean, I think that's what the movement should be about. It's what I'm here for. Absolutely. So cool. I'm really I I, I I feel just really lucky that I had the opportunity to to meet you and talk to you about all of this. It has been really education. Well, you're you're I owe it I owe it to you and to everyone else who's who's busted their ass, but especially you because you have a really uh, you just have a great. Uh, accepting way of speaking 
They're very clear, uh, spoken, smart, Thank you. you know, and funny, and it just, it just makes it, it's very, uh, it's almost exactly what I would have needed for me to get started. All right. right? Yeah. Like well, if, you, if you were like me, it probably wouldn't have been too much for me. Or if you, you know, were catatonic, I probably wouldn't have got going. You know? but yeah. You, <laughs> Knowing what you've done, and like I said, seeing you, you know, chop, I mean, I'm like, I got it. Well, you were also, you know, just easy, so it seemed like, you know, doing the conversational thing would just work. Well, you're amazing, you know? and I can't wait oh, to Oh, thank you. Back. You're amazing. All right. Thank you, my friend. Hi, guys. I Hello. listened to your hey, interview all the way here. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. It was fun. And you were with, you were with Mindy last night, right? Uh, yeah, for a brief time outside of La Poubelle. It's and uh, Mindy and Jen and... Confident Chris and, and DOA and Streets and not, and Laura. On, on Hollywood Boulevard oh right, oh Mindy, yeah, the other other night when uh, the cops oh. and the fire department came yeah. and put those guys up against the wall yeah. because uh, <laughs> right, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Seemingly, uh, I mean, my assumption immediately was this is a new tactic by Scientology whereby. Um, they're trying to intimidate people who are just interested yeah. or just hanging out with us. And so perhaps Definitely. like yeah. we get the police attention and we get the cuffs put on us or we get arrested or we get illegally temporarily detained or swatted. Yeah. Um, like our channels will blow up, yeah. right? That's what happens. Like you get this kind of police attention and more people want to see it's more drama. It's more, well, it's, it's exciting, right? Yeah. And so rather than so Scientology is like, we don't want to do that. Let's go after the people who are even barely interested and so everybody will be afraid to talk to any of us. That was like stupid. Like, yes. Correct. Yeah, they couldn't back. possibly. Couldn't yeah. possibly. It's just so sad. It, it's extremely sad. And and they were really nice people. They were... Yeah, and then they got scared. Yeah. They ran away after that, right? Well, I mean, not... I'm, you know, the, they, they didn't want any more of whatever that was, yeah. and I don't blame them. Yeah. I do not blame them I at all for that. Me. And uh, one of them showed up in the chat oh. immediately after, and that's who told us what the call was for because that's what they said that they were looking for looking for a stolen skateboard so i told that to confident and chris and he goes oh the usual yeah. <laughs> oh yeah exactly what they always do yeah. i've only been out here a handful of times like here a couple of times lots of bells a couple right. of times but thank god i've never been there when all this craziness right right has happened Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, nobody wants to go to jail. No. Right. But I know it's something that's inevitable sometimes when you're involved in activism. Yeah, it depends on what it is. Yeah. Like, if you're showing up for some big anti-war thing and there's like 10, 20,000 people on the street and they've got a line of riot cops and they've all got twist, you know, yeah. the zip ties yeah. and shields and batons and they're deploying tear gas. Oh, yeah. A lot of people are going to get arrested that day, probably. And some people are going to, I mean, some of those cops are looking to really hurt somebody. They've been waiting to do it. And so you have to be ready for all of that. And that's why um, maybe not everybody shows up to things like that because they know it, it, it could possibly be disfiguring uh, the end of your freedom and possibly deadly because it gets like that. Yeah. That's why I'm praying the people who have something uh, to, you know, really gained by all this like me will start coming out because yes you can't ask you to do that it's just amazing that you even care enough to stop and come out and say anything it's just amazing yeah and well I, it's I, yeah. you know what it's just something it, this is the funny thing is that okay so jessica Palma Desta, yeah i followed her way back when she was into her sugar daddy thing on tiktok that's what got her <laughs> i I believe that's what got her like her million something followers. So one day I was scrolling to TikTok and then I see her in life and I was like, what is this? And then yeah. I started paying attention and I was like, like I remember my grandma had the book, Dianetics. Right. So we 
I don't, like, she never, as far as I knew, she never practiced any of this stuff. Like, right. it was never, like, nothing. But then it intrigued me more. And then as I started watching more and I started learning more, I was like, oh, no, oh, these people are way out. <laughs> and, yeah, and I see that they, you know, they target a lot of the Latino people. They talk to target a lot of the sure. immigrant people. Absolutely. And, like, that starts to make me mad, you know? So I just figured if I could show up a couple times and... You know, this is my thing. I haven't rolled on it yet. I have some in the car, but they're La Poupelle. But um, <laughs> right on. I just figure, like, even if they don't want to see the sign, yes, and I'm standing there, they're going to read it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's planting a little seed. It sure is. Yeah. It's super helpful. Yeah, so, like, I don't necessarily have to get out. I mean, no. Sometimes I have, but you <laughs> yeah. know, mostly at the gray van. But, sure. But um, <laughs> I just know that, like, because by me just driving and I see a billboard and I'm not really looking to read it, but I glance up and I read it. Oh, know? yeah, so, absolutely. And a repeated message if somebody sees it a few times. Yeah. Uh, thing in advertising, you could say repetition legitimizes. That's why grocery stores are set up the way they are down the aisle. You see the same brand name, bup, 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 yeah. bup, bup, and you're like, oh, wow, that must be a real thing. Yeah. <laughs> And it, and you regard it as such. And so every, every little message, people see it repeatedly. And I think, you know, members of this community, people that are commuting up and down here are getting more used to seeing us sh show our displeasure towards this uh, awful predatory cult. So I heard a little bit of your story. So you were in, correct? My whole family. So okay. I just grew up in it. Okay. So, but I, but what I was hearing is that you, not in correct like, but that you took in a couple and then you that opened your eyes to well i mean i had known about scientology since yeah. since i was a kid um yeah. my brother brought home the dianetics book one day uh just he was curious um uh yeah indeed no no yeah i mean he wasn't curious to like get involved but he was yeah. we, we had seen the infomercial in the 80s the big push for dianetics yeah, the volcano yeah, commercial yeah, all that yeah, stuff yeah. and we're like what the heck is this This has got to be a scam um and uh there there was uh like a big ad material in our local bookstore you know the, like the big poster with the volcano and so grabbed the book brought it home and we qu quickly found out that it was totally ridiculous <laughs> and then a after afterwards um we would open up open it up to a random page if we needed a laugh and that's what diagnetics was to us oh that's funny me and some of my friends in hollywood like when i started meeting people who weren't scientologists after i got out of here and then i was like drinking age and stuff so like actually be with adults right so I was, people would go um uh, it was so much humor i never heard right because i was in there so but like name a prop like athlete's foot someone would go like Page 76. Oh, that's, <laughs> right? oh, wow. that's how they always did their ads. It used yeah. to be like, yeah, oh, that's like, right. Okay, dysfunction, <laughs> page 216. Oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. How do you put it up in like? They're not thinking of anything about that. That never crosses their mind. Yeah. Ever. Like, Thursday at two is the only thing they're thinking about. Like, That's when your the week is officially over. Yes. And if your stats are down. Right. You are screwed and oh. tattooed. If your stats are up, it's all good. Yeah. You get your cigarette money. You know. Forty-seven. Yeah, forty-seven bucks. And uh, but but more important even than that is you're not clean and toilets or whatever. Right. right. And you're not doing beans and rice. Yeah. Right. So, Gosh. you know, and, you, and the thing is, if you get into a lower condition and don't get out quick, they'll lower the condition again. Right. Further. And now you are screwed. Now you're, 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 next thing is RPF, right? So it's like, you, you have to be willing to go through whatever nonsense they tell you and just do it. Yeah. You gotta clean a hundred toilets just so you know the faster you get that done, the faster you get back. They train you like a seal never to fight back because it always gets worse. So you just in, in your brain, you just you just don't fight back. I'm 
black. Yes. Yeah, it is. Absolutely everybody. Yeah. Correct. Because <laughs> I'm hoping I help give it the heat. Yeah. Yeah, because we're seeing the destruction of human lives here, and so yeah, absolutely. So it, it really should. I go into great detail on like 25 minutes on my live today, how they get everyone in in here and what we can do to literally screw them up beyond belief, and why. Yeah. And it's uh, all in 25 minutes, but I, people always ask, how can you get sucked into this? And I explain that. And it's, uh, and you'll see how dangerous this is. You know, you don't play with fire and expect not to get burned. Yeah. This is super powerful stuff that if your mind's not completely right when you hear it, it'll, it, 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 it can yeah. get you. I don't think so anymore. There's just too much going on. You have to be really, yeah, I'm a little totally, goofy to not know now. But, I was right. telling my husband, maybe they look at us like we're in the cold. With what they're doing, they think we're the world. I mean, I don't know, but you know I what it was? It was like you never thought about it. You just what you, you poo pooed it. You're like, eh, I have better things to do. I'm clearing the planet. Yes, I don't have time to worry about what these <laughs> insignificant fleas are oh, doing. God. And you that's know, right. Once we've cleared everybody, then we'll come back after yeah. you. Okay. Yeah, we got yeah. a seat for you after we do everything else. Uh, we just, it's just a better, better than you thing. <laughs> So it's like get off of my shoe, you know. I'm I'm better than you. So right, they don't think about it. This here is different because now you can't ignore it. I would be so embarrassed as a man and as a Scientologist or whatever that, that you're telling me after all my training. Because don't forget, I'm going into the advanced organization. Yeah. This is it. You're not on a ship. You can't. This is it. Oh God. Yeah. I'm coming out of there. But you won't let me walk to my car. Right. I have the ability to communicate and confront and shatter suppression and do whatever. I'm like the silver surfer, get out of my way. Yeah. But yet I have to hide in a van to go 15 feet. That's why. You know how embarrassing that would be? Yeah, like Chris Chris calls it a dolphin man. I don't know if you guys seen when he ran to the Oh, oh right, yeah, the dolphin van. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like last night, I was joking with my husband, and I said, "Well, are you ready to get on the third bunk of of your bed?" And he said, "What?" <laughs> 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 yeah, him, yeah, you get the third bunk tonight. Like, and he goes, yeah. "I probably could make it up, but I don't think I can make it down." <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being 52 and having to live on a bunk bed. Oh my and God. Yeah, it is. He's They're only busy, sleeping four you know? hours a day. Yep. You know what I'm yeah. saying? This is yep. not an issue. None yep. of this is an issue. Right. It's okay for you to be one sleep silly. cycle. It's okay for it's every. It, all that matters is your stats are up. Because if they're down, no one cares why. What? Yeah. It's your ass. So right. All people care about is Thursday at two. They don't have time to worry about nothing else. But this is just embarrassing. This would really yeah. embarrass me. And then oh. getting ready for graduation. Yeah. Uh, the next day. Oh. Talk about Thursdays. I think yeah. I heard streets when the information center or whatever it's called, yeah, yeah. he would talk about Thursdays. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember. Thursday, yeah. 150. Yeah, they, yeah exactly. They're going to get real sad. Yeah. They, and they so they've great. already been through it yeah. right now. They've already been through it. And so, they know exactly what they need going into that last day. Right? You bet. Three more people in the academy, three new starts. You need to sell four more books, whatever. And boy, are they, you know, because it's all or nothing. It's all or nothing. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. I'm going to try to snag that spot right there. Oh, good. Quick. Awesome. Nice. I'll be right back. Just got to go around the block. Hey, come here. Get <laughs> over <laughs> here. Get over here. I was looking for Target. I got to find it. I got to go to Target. Target. Oh, okay. Target in that kid section. They've got uh, it. They... Oh, man. What have I done? I'm something. I mean, I am a theater <laughs> artist. It is true. Uh, work on a lot of stages. Oh, the bottom of my uh, box fell out. That's why I have a bag. And That's I, why I was why. gifted a bag. Thank it's you very much. the cheapest much. thing ever. But, like, if I was a scavenge, right. somehow I think that would really irritate me. Absolutely. See, cold spam in front oh, of the oh, no, that, that is like, exactly. Really? That is exactly. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to tag this up. 
You know, I know it's got to be infuriating. And oh, it's got to be. Yeah, and absolutely, they like as soon as I turn around, they try to power wash it. <laughs> so, or uh, outside the information center, they like I made the block after I left um, offline, and just to see a security guy with a huge bucket of water uh, poured over the sidewalk. Oh my God! So I'm running. All right, All right y'all. We're gonna get the better spot until the sun goes down. Last one. Last call for alcohol. So uh, I didn't see anything that went on, you guys, in the chat, really. I saw a few things, uh, but really it was just trying to keep up with uh, uh, seemingly uh, my last day here with Eric. Uh, I'm gonna miss Eric, I'm gonna miss bits of LA. I gotta be moving on. Uh, got stuff to do. Uh, got promises to keep and all that jazz. Oh, somebody's playing the flute. Um, somebody's practicing a nice little jaunty piece. It's very jaunty staccato. Oh, that's a little legato on there. I dig this. I, I'm, I don't recognize the tune. Oof, this is a good player. Oh, there, somebody's really practicing something very, very well. I appreciate it. I love it in music. So, be nice. Be cool. Lost me. I lost you. It's okay. We're back and we're better than ever, I think. We're better than birders. Okay, so we can do the actual setup for the uh, commuters here. We're in the hour. It's not very magical. It's kind of rushish. It's almost rushing. Pearl Snappy still here? Pearl Snappy. Should I give Eric one of these? I think I should. Right? I think I should. Yup. Christina Williams, $5 on a sticker. Christina Williams, $4.99. Thank you very much. What the? Uh, gotta catch him before he leaves. Absolutely. Um, I doubt that he'll take off without saying sayonara. Um, Here's somebody's.
There's another fall. How many times? How many more times? Oh, they're having a great time. They're having a great time. I love it. Arr! Come on, Gimbal. Or stand, because I don't use the Gimbal all that much anymore. It's unreliable. I'd rather not think about my gear blowing up in my face when I'm using it. Not my steez. There you Do I, have, do I have chalk? Where's my chalk? Okay. I'll take this half bottle of my drinky poo. All right. Lock it because you like it. And we're back. Let's uh, let's pay the man. I've got seven minutes. Thank you. Try to protect the card every time. I mean, picture the card. All right, back in business. Wonder Bar. Then, uh, go to La Sweet. Sounds great. I need you. I need all of my All of ours is. And that's why some people don't want to do it. Yes. That's one thing that I love is the diversity of the people. Because everybody's different. Nobody's the same. Everybody has a different way of protesting. And that should just be a show for people like you. So, Eric, I've got a t-shirt for you. It, would you like this one? Uh, these are made. These are made by a, a protester in Austin. Maybe you've heard. Uh, we lost somebody in this movement not too long ago. A protester in Austin who died tragically in a motorcycle accident. Who made these t-shirts? And I've been spreading them around Los Angeles, being like Johnny yeah, t-shirts. So is God seen you, or would you like? Where's Shelly? Where's Shelly? You've got to have it, and you have it. I, I need God seen That's just that's yeah, just I, good. I read about that. That's really oh funny. hell yeah! <laughs> hell yeah! And, uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Oh, yeah. She is a passionate person. I love watching her. Pearl Snappy is the absolute best. Absolute best. A pillar of the community. Just, just, just to uh, kick Scientology in the uh, uh, metaphorical teeth um, a little bit and pull their pants down and point at point at their bits for everybody, you know that kind of thing. That kind of thing. And he, and, and he had to do it at nine places. It's so fantastic. Well, yeah, four, four. But maybe nine on the way back. It would be <laughs> nine. So so first I showed up. Yes, that, that, that's my vehicle. And so, um, yeah, from Massachusetts, I went to the Ideal Org opening in, um, <laughs> in Chicago. And we protested there for a number of, number of days. That was intense because David Miscavige was on site. And he's trying to protect... Uh, the last little bit of this crumbling empire that he has, and yeah. we made fun of him a lot. It's great. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, whatever. His lifts and his stilts and his hydraulic lift on the stage and everything else. He's got his ha hair higher now. He's like all the little tricks. Uh, and, then I, and then I went to Denver and protested in Denver for like a week and a half. Uh, with Jay and MLH and Oop Media and uh, Sweet Sun Slice. Jay is amazing. He's got his own freaking wonderful, gentle style, but the kid is no pushover. They put the cuffs on him and he's giving the cops the business immediately. These are too tight. This is illegal. Thank you. This is the, like the whole thing. Just protecting his rights is exactly what you'd want to see. And then he was assaulted by that freaking Sea Org member. Ertis Johnson. He, yeah, well, I mean, the, the guy, obviously, Ur, Cur, Ur, Curtis Johnson, but Ertis, as we, some of us call him, Ertis Johnson is maybe he's too small in stature to deserve the C. Um, Ertis Johnson, who had never, thank you very much, who had never been in a street fight, um, tried to take down Jay, somebody that had like, I don't know, a, a foot and a half on him. And uh, I mean, Jay didn't hurt him. He just got his property back, yeah. took him to the ground, and just hovered over him. Yeah. It was wonderful. But I just think, like, oh gosh, that zero member, he's probably He's in so such trouble. Oh, he's yeah. in the worst trouble. There's not even a name for it. No. So frustrated with his life. And Absolutely, I would be. They demand a poker face. He was so buttered. They knocked the C off. <laughs> <laughs> Ertis, because they knocked the C off. Thanks, yeah. Pearl Snappy. That was awesome. <laughs> um... No, seriously, got to alley oop that into the in, in, in into Los Angeles, and then I went to Austin and protested with Pearl Snappy, nice. and uh, um, got the got the news about KK while I was there, and uh, absolutely, it was very very hard, and um, came out to Los Angeles, and I've been here for a little while, and I'm gonna go back. Um, first spot I'm 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 hitting is. Uh, uh, is Austin. I'm just going, came from Austin, going back to Austin. And, uh, I might have some more recording stuff to do in Colorado. I was, I was helping out recording a record, playing drums, um, up there. I'm a drummer. Uh, and, uh, so probably going back to Denver. And then from there, I might do, um, Kansas City or St. Louis. Uh, maybe both, or the uh, Org of Greater Cincinnati, which is in Kentucky, um, before before I hit Chicago. Yeah. He's going to go through some chalk. He's using all of this. Well, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely trying to use as much of that stuff as possible. Uh, it's fun. But I did hear that there are different Of course there are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you have to, you have to make sure. I mean, most of the places... You know, it's in, it, it it blows away with the wind. It blows away with the rain. Uh, washes away with the rain. I mean, um, and so uh, whatever. Um, so so most cities are like, yeah, sidewalk chalk, not a problem. But definitely look in every city. You know what the noise ordinances are. Like if you can use amplified sound, what kind, at what time of day, and at what volume. Yeah. That like. Not only state to state, but city to city, town to town is I different. Got, I got into a boy at Lockwood Valley. It was um, well, last Wednesday. It was about 8 o'clock. Yeah. Even if it's a commercial area, it was right. about 8 o'clock. Yep. And I was saying, love you, Bill. Support. Great. Thanks. 
Yes. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good place to bail out if you don't want. Yeah. So yeah, if you're doing stuff like that, each each one of the things that you're doing, it's it's um handy to look up the statute, uh, where it is, and even better, print it out. Yeah. Have it highlighted. They come up to you and they, if if they try to misrepresent the law, you're like, no, actually, it's this. Yeah. Yeah. So I told him, I said, if you think you can write it down for me, because sometimes I'm a little slow. And nice. I'm nice. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> self de- self deprecating. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That That's totally awesome. works. I just wanted to make sure it was clear in case it happened. <laughs> you know. Indeed. Yeah. No ambiguity for that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And you even told me. Don't special <laughs> indeed yes <laughs> all right i gotta fail it, uh, give me a hug man you're, you're amazing thank you oh. man thank you you're amazing i'll give you a call okay absolutely all right and thank have a you safe very much. trip to austin i can't wait to follow you all the way back i'll let you stay back in boston for 340 a long weekend <laughs> <laughs> sounds great Sounds great. And, and nice meeting you. You too. I, I will give you a hug too. Oh, thank you. Aww. Your experience. I appreciate that so much. I yeah, really do. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you guys. All right. I will see you, I'm sure, later. And, okay. Uh, Looking I'll forward watch. to seeing your channel rocket to the sky. <laughs> We're going to make it happen. Yeah. Definitely subscribe <laughs> to Eric Rader at BS Incinerator. The real deal. No joke. No fake in the funk. Not playing on Front Street. This guy's the genuine article.